For the glory of Milfgaard. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am just, I, I, I am completely pissed. I was gonna write a script for this video. Why am I still getting hate? Hey, what's up guys, it's Scarce here. So from now on, I am going to report the news. Let's go inside the stories. Exposed, 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 exposed.
Cope and Sneed. Cope and Sneed. Touch grass. Son of my balls in barbecue sauce. <gasps> oh, motherfucker! This is your life now. Oh, we'll play games. We can definitely play games. You got my nipples up in the tissy. For the glory of Milfgaard. Oh no, oh, the horror. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? It's nasty, nasty. It's nasty, nasty. Oh my Phil. god, Minxy1 is here. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck was the. Oh my god, Minxy1 oh, is here. My oh my god. god. Oh my oh, goodness. Minxy is showing up. Ooh. <laughs> Holy crap. It is. I don't know what the fuck o'clock it is. Hello. Good evening. I know. You're like, holy shit, a wild Minxy has appeared. It's like, uh,. The MILF needs to be in bedtime. <laughs> Hello! I know, it's a nighttime. Chad, it's a nighttime stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is where we get buck wild with sandwiches, drinks, and, and feet, apparently. Apparently. That opening scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. I will not pay for your therapy. <laughs> oh, it is almost 10 p.m. here on the east of the coastness. Yes, it is. This is great for for the West Coast, honestly. Oh shit, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You guys started, you know, as soon as I bring Spec on, he's reading the super chats. Is Brian going to do it? Brian, I haven't even banished you to the Shadow Realm yet, and you're already being lazy. Brian, I can't with him. I can't, I don't even have spec on yet to be able to read this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Pidgey. May the great foot clan rise. As one of the lieutenants of Master Ono, oh it's Shredder's clans, Spectre 779, is here to bring the thunder about how much she loves his Salt King's thunder thighs. Foot, 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 <laughs> foot, oh foot. <laughs> oh no. John, thank you so much for the cup of tea at 10 o'clock, 2 a.m. in the morning, UK. Oh, well. Hey, I'm glad you guys are here. I truly am. Truly am. All right. Well, everybody, I have come up with a brilliant idea. Now you're saying, Mom, what brilliant idea have you come up with? Well, Chad, I will share it with you. Tell me if my audio is okay. Now... When we have a guest on, AKA the empty cup, or I do call-ins or anything like that, um, I can't have the TTS talk over the guest. Brian is rude and needs to be banished to the Shadow Realm. So I came up with this amazing idea that when I have a guest on, they can read the super chats. And I had this brilliant idea before Spec came on the empty cup. And I went, oh, sweet baby kittens, the trolling shall be glorious. So, Spec, make sure you have the chat up, sir, because you will be you will be doing Brian's job tonight as a guest on the channel. And you will be reading out all of the wonderful trollish super chats that will be submitted this evening. Congratulations. Oh, and by the way, the reason that Spec's not on the screen with his P, his his P and G and all that wonderful stuff is Mr. Smiles. Mr. Smiles, he oh shit, hold on, Mr. Smiles. Mr. Smiles is a handsome boy, and he had to be here this evening. He wanted to, he wanted Mr. Smiles wanted a first class seat of the roasting of the Spec. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna call him. All right, everybody, say goodbye to Brian. We are saying goodbye to Brian. Everybody say bye. Uh, he is being muted after he reads Blaster's super chat. <laughs> everybody, 
Everybody say, I know you guys are going to cry and they're going to be giant tears. Farewell, Brian. We will see you. We will go find you. We will send you to Minecraft. <laughs> Hello, Roger. No, Speck's going to be reading him, Ben. Oh my gosh. He will find you and he will meme you? Yes, yes, he will. Well, see, he doesn't even want to be muted. Thank you. Okay, how much did Spectre pay you to stream this late? Also, hello chat, I'll be back Herc in two days for more bullfuckery. Oh, we have missed you on the streams, Blaster, but I am so happy that you have had an amazing, amazing vacation. Thank you so much. All right, bye, Brian. Go drink tea and eat crumpets and steal all the biscuits in the house. All right, we are, we are going to call Spec. We are going to call Spec now. Let's see if he answers. He's going to be like, no. Hello, sir. Buddy the Elf, what's your favorite color? <laughs> <laughs> I had to come in that way. <laughs> Let the trolling uh, begin. Yep. Let the trolling. Hey, it could have been worse. It could have been something completely different that I had planned. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I had God. a whole... I had a whole ass Mr. Smiles moment where I was going to create an imaginary character and just go, no, 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 I'm not doing it only fans with feet. No, I told you I'm not doing that. Oh my God, that would have been brilliant. <laughs> Actually, I would have. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been fantastic. I say you that 100%. <laughs> uh, hello, sir. Welcome. Hello, hello. Hello. All right, is um is the uh, specs audio good chat? Let me know. I hope I'm not too loud like last time. Yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to balance it all out and I notice that sometimes when I'm balancing the audio, the guest is a little bit louder than me, so I'm trying to right. I'm trying to get that about even. That makes sense. Is it, it good? Oh, birds. It's good to me. All right, cool. As long as he's not okay. like 60 million decibels louder than me. <laughs> It's fun. It's fun when you're balancing sound on a stream, guys. Yes. It's it's totally okay, guys. It's totally fantastic. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do is okay. shit. Bro, Dylan. I'm going to let you when that pops up on uh, your side, dude. Uh, member for nine months. Hashtag Spectre Empty Cup. Hashtag Spectre Deserves a Spotlight. Hashtag Bullying Works. Yes, it does. Hashtag <laughs> Foot Clan Rise Up and then Five Feet. Yay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh my you... God, asking. Oh, no. Oh, no. You got to read it. The chat has an expectation I now. I know. You just I like it, it so hard. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> Hello. My name is Spectre799, and I love feet they're tasty oh my god i can't i can't i can't <laughs> chat we got him damn hey. it that's we got him. yeah that's, that's probably clipped. yeah that's i mean there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of yeah, youtube I, shorts off of this i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah i'll talk to asking after that some bitch some bitch <laughs> somewhere i mean okay i'm singing the song wrong all right so what i'm gonna do chat okay. um spec's been on the channel before i mean you you've called in quite a few times many times many yes. times yes and we've had you in youtube shorts so he's not a stranger to the channel but i'm gonna link his channel uh in the chat right now um he did about because you released your um elden ring video like three months ago and we were all yes. privy to the, the fact that you were going to be um, making love letters to your favorite video games. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to link his Twitter as well. For those of you that are in the land of the twits and want to follow mm -hmm. him on there because he like if he does any premieres for any of his love letter videos or anything like that or any of any salty fanboy content, you'll you'll be made aware. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, God. Here okay, they here come. We go. Here they come. <clears throat> Uh, Game Ring Dino says, Spectre, a putsy of a man, the simp of feet. You know what? Butts and tots are better. I agree with you, Dino. <laughs> Fucking Dino. I 100% agree. Dino has been waiting for this stream. Oh, of course he has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we love you, Dino. Shout out to Dino in the chat. Oh, Pidgey's got one, too. <clears throat> Oh, Raindrops fuck. on roses and fucktards on Twitter. <laughs> Boogie's feet pics really make me feel... Jesus Christ. It was in summer. Some friends trolled me hard. Hold on. It just moved up. Because I couldn't resist the feet memes from the glory of Milfgaard. Oh, my God. 
Okay, chat, are we loving spec reading these out? Was this a good idea? You tell me. You tell me, chat. They're all going to say yes. You know this. <laughs> well, I know, but, you know, the audience wins. This is why we do polls on the channel. This is why this is Fair. a democracy. Democracy, yes. Uh, Dylan's yeah. cracking up right now. Jacob, Jacob, member for seven months. Hi, Macy. It's good. Spec didn't get cold feet. God damn it. Holy shit, Jacob. That was amazing. <laughs> he told me he made that joke earlier in another server. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> oh my god, feed puns. Here we go. Uh, Here we yep. go. Brian needs to I knew pack what I was signing bags. up for. You did. You did. All yeah. right. So okay. let's let's I'm gonna they're gonna troll you throughout the interview, which I think is oh, gonna I be know. I mean, I think it brings a fun aspect to the empty yeah. cup because um I have plans on maybe having a co host. Um, on here or like rotating co-hosts i got i've got some plans in the work for works for the empty cup so I, i've got some things that might might be dazzling for for the audience uh okay. in the near future um but i want i'm gonna actually ask you questions sure <laughs> i'm not gonna oh, troll on. you the whole time hang on real quick uh we got two donations and Ooh. then also i want to say nearby chunk says i would super chat but i don't want to spend money don't worry dude don't worry brother oh don't worry yeah, that's my best friend, so oh, don't worry, dude. Dude, you're here supporting your best friend. That's all, you know what? Watch hours, that's all the fun. You know, that's yeah, just for no. the trolling. Don't even worry. Yeah, about he's it. he's my partner in crime, so that is let me fantastic. see here. Uh, Pidgey says, hopefully oh, Spec won't tiptoe around the questions. God damn it. Did you really just say that? Tiptoe around yes. the questions? Yeah, he said that. Yeah, he said that. All right, let's uh, get... Oh, my. <laughs> Oh, you gotta read that again, dude. I just messed it up. It said, that. "It says, Spec, you need to toe the line harder on here." Oh, my God. Oh Jesus! All right. Yeesh. Yeesh. Oh, all, right, here, all the foot puns. All the foot puns. All right. So, my lovelies. Good evening, Minxie. Good evening, Alpha. It's wonderful to have you guys here. I love seeing all the little tea bags in the chat. Oh, here comes Crazy Jay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you do you for a few <laughs> minutes spec. Let's uh, let them, let them let's roll. Let's see. Easy eating sushi, watching Monday Night Cup, hanging with the Foot Clan. Spectre came on so fast that he got athlete's foot, toes before hose. Gee. Toes what? before hose? Oh my god, that's uh. funny. Toes before <laughs> hose. I've never heard that before. That Boy. is glorious. <laughs> Holy shit. Son of my balls in yes, Daniel, barbecue sauce. Yes, my grave. Let me lie in it. <laughs> Check your donors. What have you done, Jay? What have you done? Oh, no. Jay, what have you done? I, 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 I don't... I, is it going to come up? Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll, we'll, let, we'll leave it a minute. If not, I will open up a second screen. T's like, oh, my God, I'm leaving the stream already. <laughs> All right. It's okay. <laughs> See you later, T. Bye, T. <laughs> no, T, stay here. Don't leave me. <laughs> All right. I'll open okay. another window for that. Um, so, Spec. Okay. Uh, oh, and, and as you guys know on the Empty Cup, make sure you, if you have any questions for Spec outside of the trolling that he will be reading out through the Super of the Machats, mm -hmm. uh, make sure you add Specter. He's got the chat up, and he will dive in and answer some of your guys' actual legitimate yep. questions. Um, <laughs> I say that, and they're still going to troll you through that as well. Oh, they're absolutely going to. Yeah, you don't <laughs> tell people what to do on the internet because they will always do the exact opposite. Exactly. Uh, it, it's why I don't tell people to, like, when they joke around with me, it's the main majority of, like, they can do whatever they want. I don't care. Yeah, you know? yeah. You just get, you just got to play into the meme. That's the right. best thing. That's the best thing you can do. Best thing you do. Absolutely. Which is, like, I'll give the chat a little bit of a lore about the feat. Um, those of you that have been watching me for a long time know that Spec shared Boogie's feat on Twitter. Uh, well, retweeted some feed on Twitter. It was Chris the Narc's fault, but Spec retweeted and therefore scarred me for life. And it's kind of been a foot running foot joke. Yep. But the reason that I put feet in the thumbnail is because Spec goes very fucking hard for his Salt King, which happens to be oh no, it's Alex, which is ironic, mm -hmm. by the way. So now we have double feet things, double feet things. Mm-hmm. So I had to, I had to do it in, I, no, you know, no shame, absolutely no shame. I had to put it in, I had to put it in the thumbnail, guys. Yep. 
All right, my my question, my first question for you, my dude. Okay. Is what is your first, your very first memory uh, when it comes to gaming specifically? Uh, ooh, that's actually a good question. Um, I think the first memory that comes to mind is back when um, we had the original Xbox growing up. Ooh. And, good system um, to start with. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, it ended up getting burnt. I think it ended up being... I almost caught on fire at one point, which sucked. So Why? we never... I don't know. I don't remember. I don't... I gotta... I gotta ask my dad later. But, um... The first memory I can think of was playing... The original Star Wars Battlefront on the Xbox. Wow. Yep. Asking you, oh, geez, spec is young. I know. Your yep. first console being the, the original Xbox. <laughs> Yep, I'm 24, so there's that. <laughs> You're the baby! Yep. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I'm the oldest in the family. You are? Oh, that's right. You have a, you, well, you have a younger have, brother? Yeah. And so, and what's funny, too, about going back to the Battlefront, um, we also played that. It's funny, too, because I remember it specifically that we played it on the a little Mickey Mouse TV. <laughs> Oh, that is adorable. You had a little yeah, Mickey Mouse TV? It was a tiny little Mickey Mouse TV. We would watch our movies, TV shows, or play games all the time. That's adorable. Yep. That's amazing. <laughs> I didn't even, you know what? I feel deprived. I didn't even have a, did anybody else have a Mickey Mouse TV as a kid? Because I didn't. <laughs> no, we did. Um, it was our main TV way back when. All right, just so you guys know, I have a uh, Specs Elden Ring video playing on the stream itself. It'll be muted in the background while we chit chat and interact with the chat. Um, I'll also, I'll put another video up uh, as well, depending on how long the, the stream goes. And uh, I think we're gonna go over his newest video, which he just released, and that's on uh, the DLC on Callisto Protocol, right? That is correct. Okay, that's fantastic. I had an old oh, box I got a couple TV questions. as a kid. <laughs> All right, you answer them. Okay, let me see here. Asking Shu, did you love feet before Boogie, or is he just what gave you your heterosexual weight? Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. First of all, first of all, I never liked it to begin with. So, <laughs> um, but if we're going off the meme, I guess, I don't know. I don't think so. Not off the top of my head. <laughs> oh my god. And then Drewski says, what's your best feat on the internet? Oh, my God. Oh, best feat on... Oh, F-E-A-T, not F-E-E-T. Okay. Um, I don't know, actually. I actually... I can't think of one off the top of my head. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> my first game console was Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis to others. Yeah, well, no. Mine, mine, was, the, mine was Nintendo. Mine was mm -hmm. an NES, but right. I, do, I do I do have a Sega like I I have access I could I could go forth and get the Sega Genesis I have access to one still so that's kind of cool oh shit here we go spec yep here we go <clears throat> crazy J you held your feet to the fire huh spec yeah sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay Pidgey spec I was kind of curious with all the trolling you did in the past with pr phasmophobia would you be interested in playing it I think you'd enjoy a good ghost mystery afoot. Oh my Damn god, it, that Pidgey. is cringe. That is Pidgey. <laughs> Pidgey, that is amazingly cringe. Oh, the cringe! Okay, and so oh. to answer your question, yes, I do plan on playing that, considering it's coming to consoles. Oh, so, is it? Yep. They announced that a couple, I think a month ago, I think. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's coming to consoles, so that's awesome. Well, there you go. We're going to have shit. Now I have to play Phasmophobia <laughs> with Spectre. And he's going to troll me with the little voodoo doll. I'm screwed. I did not sign uh, up for this. I do not consent. Like, none. So ban Spec 2023. <laughs> listen, I'm not going to take it abuse from a woman who thinks she's a duck. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> Slimmy, are you going to take that in the chat? Are you going to take that, Slimmy? <laughs> Uh, right. Benjamin, no banning. Thank you. <laughs> what is right, one of your favorite childhood games? Childhood games? Ooh, wow. I have a couple. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, the first one that comes into mind 
and I played it a lot, especially with my brother or my dad. Um, it was Godzilla Save the Earth. Wow. That's an interesting yeah. choice. Yeah, it was because I was, to, to this day, I still consider myself a huge Godzilla fan. So that game kind of just played into my overall fanboyism of the game, of the franchise. So, hey. Oh, so the uh, Godzilla versus Kong movie that came out, you probably were, like, jumping through the roof, huh? Oh, absolutely. Um, my actual favorite of the of those movies is actually king of the monsters king of the monsters nice. that was 2019 yeah i loved that one it felt i felt like a kid again <laughs> godzilla See, is oh. amazing yep was amazing uh, nearby... on gamecube yes mm -hmm. yes uh nearby chunk would you consider making a separate channel for let's plays and would you love to have people join you for specific games like for example me with elder Ring or the donkey Kong country games um, when it comes to Let's Plays, I think I might just relegate those. I don't want to make a separate channel for those specifically. If yeah. I ever start streaming, I might relegate it to that. Right. I might relegate Let's Plays to streams, you know. That might be cool. You know, but you, to could, answer... you could do is when you're gaming, and, and I had actually thought about this. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I did it with the gameplay. with I did it with Redfall with Klutzy and Gara. Is uh, on your side, if you're like, say, you're, you're playing Phasmo with other people, record it on mm -hmm. your side, right? So they can see what you're doing and then upload that to your channel. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, let me see. And then to answer your other question, I would love to have you on, dude. Aww. Like one day if we, because, I mean, he and I go a couple of years back. Uh-huh. So, um, he actually, the way we first met was actually because he's the reason I get back into anime, which we'll talk back, uh, talk about later. Oh, okay. So yeah. So he's, he, he's a big anime guy? Oh, yeah. We both are now. Aw. Oh, yeah. the animes. Uh, Drewski, you'd get along with my best friend. He loves Godzilla based. Nice. Oh, hey, BitCloud. Hey, BitCloud. Elden Ring, but that's easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> BitCloud, don't you be bringing no Frogo shade and no Panda Punch Punch shade into this chat. <laughs> you know that we're all S tier gamers here. We gotta, we gotta get Whoa. all those trophies for absolutely no fucking reason. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just no reason whatsoever. Cold oh, classic. <laughs> oh, Paul Pidgey. Uh, what is typically the first game to come into your mind when you think of video games in general? Um, that's a good question. The first game that comes into your mind, ooh, for me, it's a such an obscure one, but Star Wars Republic Commando. Yeah, you're right, actually. That's I, I, I love that, that you're mind. dropping names that, that you don't normally hear, right? Yeah. That, that's, no. that's interesting. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Battle Puppet, what's your opinion? Oh, my. <sighs> okay. Here we There's go. There's more behind this question. Uh -oh. Okay, what's your opinion on K, Joe? Also, you need to stop putting feet in your mouth. <laughs> um, so, there's lore behind that. So, my best friend, which is... um, So... My best friend and I, we had a bet way back when, when Smash Ultimate was still getting characters out and whatnot, right? Um, mm -hmm. We decided that we made a bet about one character was, I thought one character was not going to be in the me classic costume skin for the next DLC, which was, the, the character I chose was, um, it was Geno from Super Mario RPG. So when the trailer so when the trailer came out or the announcements came out all of a sudden i see gino as one of the me costumes so that's when i told when i could tell i was like shit i lost so instead he chose he told me now because i lost i had to watch keijo not once but twice once by myself the second i watched with my friend group oh my god yep <laughs> <laughs> yep so, if you want my opinion, <laughs> if you want my opinion, it's some of the stupidest shit I have ever watched. But in a strange way, it knows it's stupid, 
So I kind of enjoy it in that sense. Uh, you know what? I, I kind of feel that way about um, like Mel Brooks films, like mm -hmm. say Spaceballs and stuff. Like it's it's overly stupid and funny, and it's just amazing. And I actually really love comedy like that. So, but I'm Milfage, so people are like, "Oh my God, what games are those? Sorry, what movies right. are those?" Uh, I have a quick question. Alpha says, "It makes me when I saw the Redfall stream. Did you like it? And what are your thoughts on the game?" Um, I, I can see how it can be fun, if that makes sense. Um, I, that's a really hard question for me because obviously I enjoyed playing with Klutzy and Gara. Um, mm -hmm. I, I enjoy playing with people, uh, predominantly multiplayer. I'm a huge MMO RPG -er. Um, so playing with other people is something that I really do jo enjoy. I, I like the interaction and things like mm -hmm. that. So that part of it was amazing. Um, getting stuck in walls, having the frame rates drop, um, all of these things still happening after a major patch is right. disheartening to me. Um, I was glad that when I was going through, say, the fire station and things like that, um, textures were resing in and, and thing was, things were actually loading appropriately on my side. Um, mm -hmm. So that was good, but... Um, it's still too destitute. There's not enough game assets in it. The, the streets are too barren. There, there should be more clutter. Um, arguably, in, in something, in a setting like that, it needs, there needs to be more chaos, and there needs to be more chaos throughout the streets, and I think it's very bare. Uh, I also think that there's not enough mobs. There should be more vampires on the streets. Like, when you yep. are... When you're running through the streets in Redfall, there should you should be getting attacked more often. Just not when you go from A to B and then the vampires are at B. You should be getting slammed with vampires as you're going, as you're traveling. And I don't think es that there's enough combat in the game. Especially when lore-wise, according to the story, it says that it's infested with vampires. Yeah, infested, but yes, invested. Like that that's like my disconnect with that game is is I'm thinking hordes of vampires or mm -hmm. at least groups of vampires or something like that and it just it just feels very bare to me overall. So, yep. Okay, let's see here. Uh Benjamin, it it appears that we have past presidents in Clutzy's chat that wish to speak to you. What? Oh no. What? <laughs> um Daniel, I hated the cliffhanger, man. The cliffhanger at the end of Republic Commando has gone unfinished for years. I know, dude. I feel the same way, brother. Um, oh, Ultra Slim. Uh, millennia, millennia when? Millennia Soon. when? Uh, yeah, because she and I, we've been trying to, for a while now, I was tr going to help her with Millennia, mm -hmm. but it never usually happens, so I gotta figure that out. Yeah, that's uh, what uh, time constraints, though, right? That's just yeah. the time difference. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite Gundam? Mine is personally Zero Zero Quanta. Epion. Ooh. Epion. The red and black. Ugh. Love it. That's amazing. I, I actually love Gundam. Yeah. Uh, Pidgey with 10. Wow. Okay. Thank you, Pidgey. Uh, no, no question. Just wanted to say that Spec is based for saying that Spider-Man Web of Shadows was better than Spider-Man 2018. He really put his foot down there. Nice. Yeah, I do agree. I do think Web of Shadows is the better game, mostly because I like the story in that more. Are you going to be doing a video on it? At Web of Shadows, one day. That is fantastic. One day. We'll I'm see. glad that you're thinking about doing that. Mm -hmm. Why did that not... All right, Jay. I'm I'm sorry about that, Jay. Nothing nothing's come through. So sad. On my my end. So, um, I'm assuming you were plotting and and going to do a thing, um, but I don't. I'm not seeing it, so it didn't go through. That is true. Asking Shu, you do re rip Wolverine in half in that one. Holy crap! Yeah, it's one of the character options because the main thing about the game is that you get good spider-man and then the symbiote the symbiote suit and one of the choices is after you fight a symbiotic version of wolverine mm -hmm. where um if you chose the bad ending to that fight um you rip him in half that is insanity 
Yep. I actually have not played that game, and I might need to play that game. It's great. It's awesome. That's insane. Um, Dylan, love letter to Ghost of Tsushima when I want to oh, cover Ghost of Tsushima Dylan, so much. I do. That is so good, Dylan. I love Ghost of Tsushima. Dylan, hold on. I got to do applause for Dylan. Give me a second. <laughs> good. All right, digital rolling in. There you go, Spec. Yep. <laughs> if, I, if I ever if I ever get an empty cup, I have a game idea I'd like to propose because I think it could be cool. Well, what game idea? You can propose it in the chat, my dude. Yeah. You can propose it in the chat. Uh, Chris Pratt asks, are you, Spec, a man of culture? Depends on how you... Depends on what you consider a man of culture. I think, I think uh, we can all have the consensus that... Uh, it's in, in in relation to anime, usually. Maybe, most likely, most probably. Likely. All I know is I'm musically cultured. Thank you. You're musically cultured. <laughs> You're musically uncultured. That's that's lies and slander. There. That that's not <laughs> lies and slander. I'm sitting here dropping bands and songs and everything up, chat. And Specs like, I I I love metal. I love rock music. And I'm like, he doesn't even know these bands or these songs. And I'm like, how can you say that? See, the thing is, the way how my brain works, I, when it come, when people bring me a name of a band, I don't know them at first, but when I listen to their music, I was like, okay, yeah, then I remember that. Uh -huh. I'm more of a, what, like, when it comes to listening mu to music, I kind of rem recognize it more than I do the name half the time. Yeah, that's true. I'm bad with names. I know so mm -hmm. many fucking songs. It's either I know the song or I know the band or, you know, it's it's either or. But I, I get that. Sometimes you you fuck yeah. up with the names. Uh, Psalms has got one for you, Let's sir. See. Do you have a problem with a new presidential Zomboys group that Klutzy Server has acquired? What are what? you guys doing over there? <laughs> Zomboys group? I don't even want to fucking know. Don't tell me. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I just don't. I don't. Chat, I know nope, nope, all the nope -lopes. Shine Down, uh, Star see. Set, Three Days Grace will always remain in my mark. Pidgey? That is true. They're great. Pidgey, stop making me more bias for you. I've already got a major <laughs> fucking bias. You're adding to uh, it. Pidgey, what would you say is your p personal favorite anime villain? Acnologia from Fairy Tail. Damn. The dragon of the apocalypse and the devourer of all sorcery? Yes. Love it. I saw Shine Down live. I've seen Shine Down live as well, and they are fantastic. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Flashback, who's your favorite president? Um, shit. Okay, that's not a question I expected. <laughs> that is the most random troll question ever. Um, uh, shit. Um, I don't know. Actually, I don't think I have a favorite. I I I honest. do not have a favorite favorite president. Like <laughs> I just I just don't. Let's see. All right. So, mm -hmm. explain. Explain your side of content creation. What got you into editing and wanting to do um, these particular love letters um, to the, your, your favorite video games? I will gladly say that. Um, for me, when it comes to content creating, the biggest thing is that I love... The biggest thing I love about YouTube, to say modestly, is the creativity of it. The ability to express yourself in such a unique way that that's what draw, drew me to YouTube in the first place. So, and then in regards to my content, when it comes to love letters, my thing is there's not a lot of positivity in the gaming sphere currently, and I kind of want to be that source of positivity in a sense. Uh, to quote, to quote Keanu Reeves, I don't want to live in a world where kind isn't where being kind is considered a weakness. 100%. I love that. I know that I, you know, it's funny because I do salty fanboy content and stuff and, mm -hmm. and the chat, you know, re-roast fanboys all the time. But, I mean, if you really, if you get down to the core of it, like, it, it's making fun of all the people that are negative in the gaming space, 
right? Absolutely. If mm-hmm. you love video games, play fucking video games, right? Yep. I, I, you know what? When Dead Space came out and when Resident Evil came out and we have these wonderful remakes this year and Hi-Fi yep. Rush and everything, I celebrate it forever. You know, those are some of the some games I have not played, but I will still mm-hmm. celebrate gamers being able to play games. It doesn't matter what platform it's on. And as yep. an indie dev, of course, of course, I would want a game on multiple platforms and have it, it have it accessible to gamers across the board. So, mm-hmm. there you go. Uh, let's see. I got a couple questions. Pidgey, should King should King David run for president? Absolutely. Oh my Absolutely. God! Yes, King David. Per- oh, he's so good. That man. That man. I am such a fan. He was actually, it's funny because King David was posting back to me on Twitter and I honestly mm-hmm. had some, like, it's very weird. I've had some fangirl moments since I've started streaming. The act man yep. coming on, on Twitch. and Lucky uh, you. Yeah, and talking to us, saying <laughs> hi was, was one of those moments. Um, getting to talk to Alex and Frit, you know. Uh, but the, the fact that King David responded back to me on on fucking the land of the twits of all things mm-hmm. I was I was freaking out a bit he is he's absolutely an amazing person and absolutely uh let's see here um B Psalms whose president th- whose presidential term was best what are these questions <laughs> we are not doing poli- when have we ever done <laughs> politics on my channel Psalms and Holy flashback shit. made it Flashback made it funnier. Which president had the best feet? What is going Ronald, on? Wait, fine. Ronald Reagan had the best feet. I don't <laughs> fucking know. Hey, you said that, not me. Clip that, I, guys. Clip I, that. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, no, clip that. No, I do not like feet. Feet are the worst, dude. Absolutely. I agree. They're gross. They're absolutely the worst. They absolutely are. Uh, Jake J. Not going to troll Spectre. LOL. He's been a lot. Aww. Aww. Thank Jay, you, Jay. Jay, that's super sweet. Jay's being all sweet in the chat. Yeah. All right. Dark Mage. Favorite wizard in the fairy tale guild or uh, or of their allies? Ur- Urza. Urza Scarlet. Easy. Oh, damn. Easiest answer. Uh, Digital. So it's a zombie apocalyptic sn- scenario. Only you get the pilot a mechanized suit, kind of like the javelins in Anthem. This is my game. Ooh. Damn. Okay. That actually okay. sounds really cool. Well, giant sized mechs. I mean, mm-hmm. who's who's excited for Armor Core? Let's be. I am. <laughs> fucking I am. from soft, and I'm like big giant fucking mechs. Let's go, mm-hmm. right? Let's mm-hmm. fucking go. Yep. I have another question. Okay. Um, are you going to play Starfield? Ooh, maybe. I already what? have it technically. I already I have it technically pre-downloaded right now, so I might play it in my pastime. What? But I've already yeah, I've already got something covered. I'm already covering a game around that, surrounding that. So fair. All right. Yeah. All right. I I, I won't I won't throw too much shade at you. I'll definitely play it in my pastime, but it's just when it comes to Starfield, I'm excited in a sense, but I'm also skeptical oh i'm very skeptical it's a bethesda game but i'm still trying to i'm sure i'm still trying to maintain that uh you know let, let's let's hope for a good game because like you said right. positivity in the gaming space so i'm hoping Absolutely. like i said with microsoft going hey bethesda take some more time on this don't rush this shit we might actually mm-hmm. have a smooth launch it would be nice to have a smooth launch this year 100 percent. agreed uh jay with the 999 this is why you keep feet pics private just saying damn it holy shit jay you lie you damn did- it <laughs> jay just got you yep jay mm-hmm. just got you good hey classy uh, welcome to the stream my dude thank you guys for being here we appreciate you absolutely uh pidgey has there ever been a video game that has disappointed you the most a game that oh, you were God. extremely excited for, but then completely flopped on its face, in your opinion. Hmm. Well, I mean, if I had to pick one, I wasn't particularly excited, quote unquote, but it, I was interested, and it came to and it put it, it. It was on Game Pass, so I tried it out. Um, it's called Outriders. Outriders. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's kind of like Mass Effect, in a sense. I have but, never uh, heard of um, that game. That is crazy. Kind what, of. what platform is it on? 
second. Uh, what platform was it on? It was on, for me, it was on Xbox. So that's where I remember it the most. It's just, I was disappointed with it because, um, for, like, for, at first, I was interested. I liked it uh -huh. at first, but then over time, it just got boring for me. There wasn't a lot much for me to keep me interested. I think uh, my answer is to that. Um, I think the one that I put a lot of faith, trust, and pixie dust into that disappointed me was New World. Um, I know that they've made some changes and they've done some things. Um, I put I put over 1,400 hours into New World. And um, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be my MMO replacement. Uh, I think that since uh, I left World of Warcraft, um, I have just been kind of fluttering from MMO to MMO. I played Guild right. Wars 2. Um, I've played, um, what was it, Forbidden World. Um, mm -hmm. God, what else have I played? Sissy would know. My sister's in the chat. She'd be able to start listing off every fucking MMO we've ever played because she's a bad influence. I usually play MMOs with her. Um, I played Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, mm -hmm. And New World was anticipated to be something really really good but of course amazon is involved and i did uh, for that game i got my hopes up and it was it was an amazing ride while i was playing it but at the same time it was busted it every single patch that came out every single update just broke the game broke the economy in the game um it was an absolute nightmare and, and i just had to give it up i couldn't play it anymore right okay i gotta answer b -Som's question before mm -hmm. he yells at me again <laughs> um which president rocked the bald best okay i'm just gonna pick a random one george washington i know I we're just know. gonna have to pick random presidents now <laughs> that's that's what this stream has become uh let's see battle puppet what's it like to be a power bottom oh my god <laughs> <laughs> now, now they're trolling you for, because of Alex. Mm -hmm. Now this, now, now you know it's his Soul King. It's his and Soul then, King. Also, have you played Yakuza Zero? Recording for a video, and I've been absorbed again. I have not played any of the Yakuza games actually. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Not yet, anyway. Well, you're gonna have to. Uh, Dylan, most overrated game of all time. Weirdly enough, for me, Bloodborne. Oh shit! Hold I love on. Bloodborne. I love Bloodborne. I do. However, I don't think it's a masterpiece. Oh my fucking god! You say nothing to Erica. You say nothing to <laughs> Alex's I wife. I won't say anything. Oh I my won't. god! She is the biggest freaking Dark Soul. Oh man! Asking Shu knows. He's gonna be like, uh, I'm gonna go see. tell her. <laughs> um, Dark Mage. Thoughts on the Arkham series? Love it. Love the Arkham series. However, I did not play Origins or Night. Uh oh. Battle's I played get you. City. City is the best one. Um, Spec, we have a meme on 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 the screen at the moment. Oh no! Hold on. Um, thank you, Rambo. <laughs> Why? I I I I. Hmm. Oh no, the meme lords <laughs> I, I are dislike all this. We're gonna have meme of the stream and you're gonna have to pick the winner. Oh no. I hate this. Oh I no. Hate everything. Meme lords. <laughs> meme lords, you uh, must assemble. You know what to do I in hate. the Discord. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, it's glorious. Glorious stuff. Uh, Battle Puppet, you must play the Yakuza games or I'll sit cute you on your ass. Uh -oh. That's okay because I love Young Ya and Young Ya is gonna be voicing him uh, voicing him so. Oh, they're gonna they're he's gonna be on the uh, Iron Lords podcast too. I think next Young Sunday. Ya? Yeah. Hundred really? percent. Okay. Yep. Cool, next, cool, I think cool, it's cool. on the Lord's Day. I think it's next Sunday. I'm I'm super excited. Nice. Oh my god. Again, I'm such a King David fan. Like hold everybody put mm -hmm. hold the line in the chat. We love Yes. That man is infectious and has so much just everything oozing out of like just he's amazing. He's absolute hype. Slim, I already answered that question. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> what did Slim what is Slim Shady she said, doing now? She said, um, hold on, let me find it. How long have you loved Boogie's feet and when did you first realize you lost her feet? <laughs> We need to do an intervention. Like, Spec, when, uh, was, the, when was the last time you, uh... Oh, no, Asmund nah. Gold, Minxie, you started without... You need to restart the stream. Okay, that's it. We gotta, uh -oh, re well, we gotta restart the stream. <laughs> All right, um... 
Pidgey, are you planning on saving some love letters to certain games for some specific cha channel milestones? Can't speak. Like, for example, a love letter to Star Wars Republic Commando for 500 subs. Ooh. That's actually not a bad idea. That is a fantastic... Who did... Is that I actually Pidgey? like that. Was that Pidgey? Yes. Wow, what a great audience. That is an amazing fucking idea. I, you know what? And I also, I gave Spec the idea, what was it? Like five fucking months ago now? Uh, the, to do like uh, like hate mail or like hate, yes. you know, to the to the ones you dislike the most. Um, yes. So yeah. I mean, I know that you're, you're going for the whole positivity panda vibe in mm -hmm. the gaming space, but we, but the thing is, and, and this is awesome. I gave you this idea because even through all of your videos, you maintain being objective. Your likes Absolutely. and your dislikes are in it. So even your, like, say, your hate mail, like, to the games that you, you're not, like, it's, it's just not amazing to you, you would still have positive things to say, right? It, yeah, it's also kind of funny, too, because there are certain games that I've covered that I could barely say anything bad about. Like the one on screen right now, Metal Hellsinger, I could barely find anything to say bad. That's actually really good. It means they did an I amazing love job. I Metal Hellsinger, yeah. It, it means they did an amazing fucking job. My I actually want to play this. Mm -hmm. The only thing I wish I did differently with this video is mm -hmm. I wish that I made myself louder. Yeah, you see, because... that, that's what time, though, dude. That really mm -hmm. is. Like, balancing the audio, balancing the different clips audio to the audio of the game, and, and it's like getting all of that in sync, that, that takes yep. time. It mm -hmm. takes time. Benjamin, why do you prefer Alex Salt over Fritz Salt? I can I can answer this very easily. It's mostly because I love I love how he goes on his uh, I love how he does it. I love how he just mm -hmm. at the end of the day he's always right about specific things that are going on. Like most recently the Ratchet and Clank not needing an SSD. Yeah. He always seems to know his shit. Not saying that Fritz doesn't don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to say that, but his streams are also really freaking entertaining. Oh my god! I love, I love, oh Speck, wow! we just got five gifted memberships! Let's go! Ninja Games, yes! Good deal. Nice! Thank you so, yes, Spec Autendo, Spec is reading the super chats. Yes, Frit I is am. Frit is not boring, asking Shu, you're just biased. You're just okay, biased. I... You love you love the foot. You're part of the Foot Clan <laughs> as well. Also, we got to rethink on that name. Mm -hmm. The Foot Clan. We got to uh, rethink on that. Holy because... oh, shit! Wow. Spec. Wow, Capitan. Okay. Oh my god, dude! You gotta hype this up more with me. Um, like, <laughs> I mean, I don't. I... <laughs> Come on, Spec. Right. You gotta bring it. Uh, let's go. Okay. Holy uh, let's rapid shit. fire these. Holy uh, Vanguard. shit! Vanguard, no, you got you... you. No, you got to say feet that many times. That's a hundred dollars. Okay, fine. That's a hundred dollars. Okay, I got to do it in the Brian voice. <clears throat> okay, okay. Foot, 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 <laughs> foot, 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 foot. I had to get the different injections at um, <laughs> expressions there. <laughs> oh. Oh damn, Pidgey. What? Oh, now it's tea bag wars. It's wow, Teabag okay. Wars in the chat. I can't Holy keep up with the questions. <laughs> no, you gotta scroll back now, my dude. Yeah, I Holy do. Holy yeah, shit. Thank you so much, Pidgey. We're gonna be doing a membership stream in a few days, so that's fantastic. More tea bags. Let's see. Okay. More tea bags. Vanguard uh, says, How you doing, my man? I'm doing good, thank you. Uh Ass Man Gold, question, will you touch me on the top bunk? What? Um, what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. <laughs> it's um, ass man gold. It's yeah, ass man gold. Thank you guys Alkin, so much. Alkin, what is the best kind of sock? Ankle socks? No show? Cav socks? I actually like... I can't believe I'm answering this. I actually... There's a specific brand out there. I forgot which one it was. I forgot the name of it, but they, they're they really nice to wear around the house. It's actually uh -huh. really nice. Um... Will you make Minxie play Dead Space? No. no if no, I'm being real, no. if I'm being for real, I don't want to do that to her. No. No, this is not a thing. They're going to troll me with Dead Space until I there, there's no <laughs> oxygen left in my lungs to say fucking no. No. I have to deal with it. I you know what? It's a thing 
and I'm playing Redfall and I had to play Phasmophobia and I'm gonna end up playing Phasmophobia again and I'll probably end up I I don't know. We'll 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 see. I'm just fuck I can't cope yeah, with we'll this see. shit. I can't Um B Psalms, when did you realize that your bad jokes only led you to the feet? A while ago. <laughs> only led you to the feet, Psalms, oh my fucking god. That's so bad. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> oh no, the feed dad jokes are coming and Blaster's not here. Oh. Uh, it says here, I'm tr Vanguard said, I'm trying to behave, but I can't wait for Starfield. Uh, you know, I, I'm i I'm trying to behave too, Vanguard, but it's really fucking mm -hmm. hard because now they're doing the countdown on Twitter and yeah. it, it looks beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God, that space alien is going to kill me and it's going to be fantastic, allegedly you know right um i'm i'm trying really hard um not to get excited for that but i really can't wait for it to get released because we need a good space we need another good space game something outside of star yeah. wars and we haven't had a really good space game outside of an indie game because everybody's like no man sky i'm like no mm -hmm. we need a good triple a space game that isn't star wars right and it's crazy because there's a reason why I'm skeptical. It's mm -hmm. because I was right about another game from Bethesda. Uh, but before that, let me before that let me answer this. Okay. Will you ever do a love letter on Vampire Survivors? Fun fact: My dad actually wants to be a part of that. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Fun fact: uh, We're not sure just yet, but it is an idea throwing out there. Oh, that would be cool. Do a collab oh, with yeah. your dad over Vampire Survivors. That would be amazing. Absolutely. I can't wait to play the co-op. But yeah, to answer the question, um, when it comes to Starfield, I was uh -huh. right. Uh, I was I'm right to be skeptical about it because I was right about two other games beforehand. I have this weird thing where for my friends, I swear to God, they think I'm clairvoyant. <laughs> so the first game I was right about that ended up being bad, being bad, was Fallout seventy six. Oh God, Fallout when, 76. Yeah, when trailers were coming out for that game, I was very skeptical on it. A part of me was like, um, something didn't feel right, you know. And then when it came oh. out, turns out I oh was right. Oh my God, look at the chat, Zach. Look at the chat, Zach. Oh Lord. Oh, okay. Geez. Dylan. Okay, Capitan. Capitan first. We all know Spec likes Alex Salt more cause himbo. I mean, that's a part of it. Yes. Um. Dylan, this may actually be the best empty cup by far. Aw. At least I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Good to see you, the majority Dylan. of the people get what they want. Hashtag Spectre empty cup. Hashtag Disper Spectre deserve the spotlight. Thank you. Hashtag Foot Clan rise up. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> hashtag all the feet for Minxie and Spectre, and then a bunch of feet. No, no, no. Read them out. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. Brian's got to okay, read them fine. out. You got to breathe. Okay. Do it. Do it. Bully foot, him, chat. Foot, Bully foot, him, chat. Foot. foot 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 I'm sending you my therapy bills Now you know how Brian feels Now you know how Brian feels Um uh I oh battle puppet added me let me have the I have to find that Oh I think I think I saw it earlier hold on Uh all right, well, while you're looking at that, Vanguard says, that makes you want the same here. I saw a really good space battle last uh, Last was Halo Reach, Long Night of Silence. I may be saying it wrong. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, I found it. Oh, good. Uh, it says, trust me, dude, getting the audio right can be a pain. I had a horrible time getting it figured out, and finally I'm getting the hang with it, like with my Alan Wake video. Just takes time. You're right. Yeah, you did, you know, you, it's funny because you and Battle are kind of learning this, this whole, the whole editing game at the same mm -hmm. time. So it's really cool. And you guys honestly could probably bounce off of each other and, mm -hmm. you know, get advice from one another in regards to how, yeah. how to balance things. Oh, let me see. Crazy J says, Spectre, have you ever seen the anime Soul Eater? No, I have not. But I have seen the series that is supposed to be in the same universe. Has that one? Oh my god. Oh my god, Capitan. Holy shit! What is go Spec, you're coming on the channel all the time now. I'm having like, <laughs> what is this? Hey, what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> 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 wow. What? Holy um, shit, look at all those tea bags. 
Yeah, well, you better put some one. emotes in the chat. Yeah, let me. Oh let my me do that. god! Thank you so much. Let me do that. Oh, wow, I, I I need to stop coming on here all the time. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, you fucking do. Thank you so much. Let's see. I mean, it was Bethesda's first MMO. I'd give them some like, yeah, but also Bethesda has have a track record with bad launches for years now. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, do. I can't really specifically. And what's funny, the second game mm -hmm. that I was right about being like ended up sucking um, was not really a Bethesda game. It was actually an EA Dice game, Battlefield twenty forty two. Oh jeez. Yep. Uh, Rogue Spartan. Fun fact, mine was Cyberpunk. Yeah, that sh yeah, that makes sense. I saw the ridiculous hype and got suspicious. Halo 5 too, but I ignored it. Oh man, Halo 5. Yeah, let's not talk about Halo 5. <laughs> let's not talk about Halo 5. Oh, here we go. Oh, Pidgey. Oh, oh, no. oh. You knew what was gonna happen from yeah, the Pigeon. Yeah. The Pigeon Master. Yeah. Give me your true and honest opinion on French toast. Don't oh. you disrespect me, little man. Oh, I, wait. I gotta do this oh. right. <clears throat> okay, I gotta do this right. Don't you disrespect me, little man. Don't you derogate or deride. You're in my world now, not your world. And I've got friends on the other side. <laughs> Sorry, this, I had to do that. <laughs> this is a part of your digital footprint. Oh my god. Lord. The puns! No! Okay, so so when it comes to hit French toast, I love French toast. I love it. I do. Legitimately. Um, favorite Transformer character and first figure. I don't actually uh, my f ooh, my Bum favorite Transformers character, Grimlock. Bumblebee, hundred percent Bumblebee. Sense. I absolutely yeah. love Bumblebee. Yeah, for me, it's Grimlock. I can Be make Grimlock French... challenge. I actually like a lot of the Transformers though, mm -hmm. um, but Bumblebee would be my favorite if someone asked me. Oh my uh, God, X Cap. <laughs> can Can Spec sing Bromance for me? Um, I'm not that good of a singer. I'm not so, either. So, I mean, <laughs> my brother is more of the singer than I am. Oh my gosh. I don't know, yeah. X-Cap. I might have to sing Bromance on a different stream for you, though. Yes, please. <laughs> I don't, and I'm not even good at singing. I don't know why people want me to fucking sing on stream. But I, I don't even know how that became a thing. I don't even remember. <laughs> me neither. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember why that even became a thing. I remember that a time at a time the corpse husband song was a thing. Oh well, yeah, that was a thing, but I didn't. I never sang that, so I, think I it don't. was because of Chris. Was it? I Someone so. will tell me in the chat and be like, "Minxie, your memory is shit," and I'll be like, "Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly." Um, let's see. I actually want to play Evil West. Um, oh, it's and, awesome. And you're you're the reason why I would I want to play evil west by the way Aww. i think it's on my wish list on steam actually oh good deal fun fact um a biggest a big thing why i'm glad i'm doing i'm doing these now uh -huh. is is because um k huck friend of the show love her mm. um k huck she told me i guess that her husband watched my video and because of that video she bought the game Oh, that's or right. I, saw, I was watching. I was watching because yeah. she had you on. Um, yes, she did. I was I was bullied to have you on after. I don't <laughs> I don't understand why, but Dylan won and the, the everybody won and yeah. the voting won and oh my god, it was a landslide. Hey, I'm okay with it. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> you got one for Vanguard. <laughs> is evil west is good question mark uh you know yes, what rogue is. spartan what i'm gonna do is i will link this evil west video in the chat and you can watch it um give uh spec some view time mm. uh, and you can make up your own mind and see if it's something that you might be interested in um like uh, i said we're gonna go over his newest video towards the end uh asriel um what's your favorite final fantasy character um Sephiroth or Tifa. God damn it, I knew it. So we had this fight. Like we with like the land of the twits is fun for shit posting and anybody that takes it seriously arguably needs to take their medication. Right. But um 
I like. I was like, they were like, oh, if you, if you could be anyone in the world, you know, be a Sid, right? Now, Sid is awesome mm-hmm. when it comes to Final Fantasy. Don't get me wrong. I love Sid. But, of course, mm-hmm. Vincent Valentine. Everybody defaults to fucking Sephiroth. Everybody does. It is ridiculous. <laughs> it's like that is the most generic Final Fantasy VII choice. That, that is, don't mean it's bad, separate. though. Ah, oh, I just love when people actually <laughs> say different characters, though. Like, that. that's kind of where that's I'm at. That's fair. Like, I get it. Every single time I turn around, it's like, oh, it's Sephiroth. I'm like, no. Do you realize there's like Red 13? You know, Final Fantasy right. is cringe. Yeah. Asking Shu, you shut your whore mouth. Asking Shu, <laughs> you shut your whore mouth. There are people, there are so many people actually in my chat that haven't played a single Final Fantasy. And I'm like, please play one. Please play right. one. Mm hmm. Uh, Vincent is awesome. Shouldn't have been side content. Exactly, Battle Puppet. Exactly. Oh, here's a good question. Um, Dylan, what's your opinion on Mass Effect? Love it. One of my oh, favorites. Mass Effect is amazing. Mass yep. Effect Two is amazing. Um, Garrus and Tally forever. Fun, fun fact. Um, two fun facts actually. Number one, Tally was the one I romanced. Oh, Tally is amazing. She's, I love Tally. Oh, she's she's my a favorite. sweetheart. She's my favorite. Yeah, I love her. And Garrus is my favorite character. Oh, I love Garrus. So we agree on that. We agree Damn it, on that why scent. are you making me like you more, Spec? I don't, I don't like this. I didn't sign up for that. Yes, Tally and Garrus and the, are amazing. And the second fun fact is that my dad, me and my dad were like, when it comes to Bioware's games, we were the polar opposite. He liked Dragon Age. I loved Mass Effect. Dragon Age is really good, though. Oh, really I'm sure good. it is. I have no, I have no doubt. Um, let's see. Favorite Batman villains. Ooh. Ooh, favorite Batman villain? Scarecrow. That's a good choice. Well done. Scarecrow. Congratulations. I love Scarecrow. That is a really, really, really good choice. Um, Fun fact, he was also my, he was my main in Injustice 2. The, uh, the video game. All right, I, you can give me shit now, Spec, because I'm going to say a generic choice. I'm going to okay. say a generic choice, and I'm going to give you the reasons why. Okay. The Joker is mine, but there's only there's only two Jokers, right? Heath mm-hmm. Ledger's Joker and Joaquin mm-hmm. Phoenix's Joker. That's it. I do love Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. For me, though, oh, and Mark, Mark Hamill, Hamill will yeah, always I know, be my Mark Joker. Mark Hamill was the voice of Joker, so yes, yes. Mark Hamill that will counts, always... Yeah. <laughs> yes, it does count. The animated, yes, it does count, but... In regards to live the live action, it is Heath Ledger and Joaquin Phoenix for me. Right. Oh, here we go. Uh, Dylan, you romance Tally based also Garrus is the goat. Absolutely. And then Vanguard, you Mass Effect were going to be great and Minxie one once again put some respect on my main man Rex. Rex is cool. He's cool. Re- Rex is cool. He is. Did you read my ping, uh, Minxie? Hold on a second, Daniel. I'm sorry about that. Uh, Keith David is one of the best voice act- actors. Don't at me. Dude, like, you're not wrong. Truth. You're not Truth. wrong, Daniel. You're not wrong. There's there's so many characters I have that, like, Keith David has played that mm-hmm. I'm really grateful for. Like, Arbiter, Spawn, all that shit. Uh, Pidgey, favorite Mortal Kombat character. Shit gotta put me on the spot uh there. chris pratt says please help me it says your discord uh link is expired you should be able to get the discord link um through the membership so if you go to the main page on mm-hmm. the youtube channel you check join uh you should the, the discord link should be in there if not i'm gonna have to get another one but to answer your question um favorite mortal Kombat character i'd have to say it's any of the ninjas Specifically, Scorpion, Sub Zero, and the Cyber Ninjas. Okay. All right, Chris. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll get it posted to the channel. I'll post it to the members. It might be just because you're like super new. <laughs> you just got the Possibly. membership tonight, so uh, I'll make sure in the members section on the community tab on the channel. I'll repost the Discord link for the members. Mm-hmm. Okay. Andrew says, play Final Fantasy VII, play Final Fantasy X, hated thirteen. Uh yeah, thirteen, no thank you. Uh don't mind fifteen and enjoyed sixteen. Uh I haven't played fifteen. I do want to play sixteen. Final Fantasy fourteen was absolutely amazing. 
uh, asking Shu. I kind of disagree with that. Cyrax is the best Cyber Ninja. I kind of disagree with that. I, I I like Sector more. Oh my God! I'm not. No, we're not having this discussion. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dylan, have you ever played RuneScape? No, I haven't. No, I don't think you would have played RuneScape. Yeah, no, I'm too young for that. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you're 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 a little bit you're a little bit young for that. Mm-hmm. So, what is? Would you like to disclose what's your next love letter gonna be? Did I ask you that? I actually, so far, I can give you the entire schedule for the most of the year. Whoa! There we go. You heard if it you here. Want. Yeah, of course. If you want to say it on stream, go, my man. I've said it before. Um. So for this month, it's gonna be um, Dead Space remake. Nice. So that's nice. my that's my I gotta get more clips anyway. I was actually I'm actually I'm actually still working on my script at the moment. Fantastic! So. That's exciting. I can't wait to have that on stream. That's gonna be absolutely amazing. yeah. And then next month I have I'm actually gonna do a different one. It's uh it's gonna be Hi-Fi Rush. Oh, you should, because you had such wonderful things I to say I love Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, you did. You had a lot of positive things to say it's about It's my Hi personal game of the year. Yeah, you, that's what you've been saying. Mm-hmm. So that's what you And then saying. next month after that, because it would release around the same time in August, um, around in September, I'm going to be playing and covering Immortals of Avia. Really? What? Who's if, you know, if you know what Immortals of, Immortals of Avia is. No, I don't. Um, it's it's an EA original, so I know it's kind of skeptical from the start, but it looks so damn interesting that I kind of want to check it out. Nice. It's been on my eye. It's been on my radar for a couple of months since they announced it. Well, that'll be that'll be great. Yeah, Thanks. and then Halloween. I'm thinking there. So. Halloween, I'm kind of tied with three, between three different games. There's, I want to do Outlast because it's my favorite horror game of all time. Ooh, then if it's your favorite horror game of all time, why is there other options? Because I think there's two more. Well, there's one that I think is scarier. Ooh. And the other one I've been interested in because I've seen reviews on it and I've never played it. So I kind of want to get a fresh perspective on that. Uh-huh. Uh, so the sec the game that I think is scarier is called Visage. It's called the Visage. Okay. And then the game that I haven't played yet, but I want to, is called, um, Darkwood. That sounds scary. Just, uh, just it's called leave Darkwood. Oh yeah. God, leave me out of the woods with the spookiness <laughs> and the woods and the fucking spookiness. Um, let me see here. I got a couple questions to see. Okay. Capitan with the 10. All right, Spec. What's the best Elden Ring ending? Ooh, Age shit. of the Stars. Oh, here we go. Yep. Age of the Stars. I knew that was going to be your response. Reason one. Re one, oh, one reason and one reason only. Ronnie. Rap, yep. I knew that that was going to be the answer. Uh, Dylan. What best game in the 2020s decade? Elden Ring. Come on now. Elden Ring. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't surprised. Wasn't surprised with that one. Um, oh, here's a good question. Do you have any trouble whatsoever script writing for your videos, or do you find it more easy? Has there ever been any case of writer's block so far? No, not really. And no, then, I have... don't think so, because when you love video games, it just kind of flows out of you naturally. Yep. I think that that, like, script writing when it comes to video games, like, anything that you're passionate about, I think mm -hmm. it, it just comes naturally. Uh, if you love Scarecrow, he is the main antagonist in Arkham Knight. I am well aware of that. <laughs> I just I didn't play Arkham Knight because the PC port is like one of the worst in history. So. Ooh, you should play it though. Yeah. You should play Most it. If you like I, I'll, I'll plan to. Yeah. yeah. Vanguard Have actually you... asked me really quickly, "What's your favorite holiday or holidays?" Um. My favorite holiday is Halloween, which kind of sounds weird. Uh, considering I'm a chicken shit and I don't mm -hmm. play horror games and everything, I I'm a fall baby. I love I love when fall. I love the trees. I love hiking in fall. Um, right. Yeah. That that's my jam. We got we we are we got the pumpkin spice um, kingdom over here. So yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's fall. Okay, and then 
Pidgey, have you played Soma or any of the Amnesia games? No, I have not played Soma, but I have played the one of the Amnesia games. Nice. I have played one of them. Uh, Alpha Boy says, at Minxy1, what games are you playing on Blade Stream? Fuck, should I tell him, Spec? Uh... <gasps> Alright, so this Friday, again, I'm playing Redfall with Klutzy <laughs> at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I will be recording it, and there will be 60 more fucking shorts of me coping with this game on my channel. <laughs> so fucking excited. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> So, <laughs> if you want me to suffer more, congratulations, you get that, and it's going to happen this Friday. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Yay! <laughs> we, need to get, we need to get you in on uh, the Redfall Chaos, sir. I, I think hope you're so. Working. I need I to re-download it. I do. All right. I well, if you have time, like... We'll have to figure out. Maybe I can get Clutchy we'll to stay on stream long enough that you can come on for a little bit. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. I got a lot of questions. Wow. Damn. Okay. Wow. They're on fire tonight. They are. <laughs> Good job, guys. Well done. Uh, oh, what would you say is your favorite side mission in the Arkham series? Arkham City, the Azrael one. Ooh. Where you got to find, like, symbols, I think it was. And you go to find Azrael and you find him on the church. It's actually really cool. That's amazing. Um, are you going to play Alan Wake 2? Probably. You should. I might, actually. You should. I, and then I might play the original Alan Wake before. So you've never played uh, Alan Wake, then? No. Okay. So yeah, you probably should play the first one. Uh, top 10 favorite animes. Really? Ooh. We're doing this? <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I have that saved up, actually. It changes over time. Shit, can I actually do a top 10? Oh, damn. For me. Oh, here we go. I found it. Um, so most of these probably have changed over time. Okay. But let's see here. Um, number 10 so far, I have JoJo Bizarre, Bizarre Adventure. I loved it because my friends got me to play the watch those and we just finished it. Nice. I actually like the majority of it. Um, another one, Black Lagoon. Ooh. Black Lagoon is a good one. This that show, that show would not have come out today. If that show came out today, it would have already been canceled. Yeah. So, eight um, Overlord. It's a, it's a funny one. Nice. Um, another good one, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, I fucking love Cowboy Bebop. Easy. Mm hmm. Love Cowboy Bebop. Ed is my daughter. Shit. Ed <laughs> is your daughter. Yes. <laughs> I make I always say that as a joke. <laughs> oh god. All right, well, when um, you're reading yours off, I'm going to write mine down cuz I got to think here. Gotta yeah, think. no, that makes sense. Um I was originally Okay, so this next one, I originally was going to say the rebuild of Evangelion movie. Ooh, Evangelion. I like the movies more than the TV show, but if but now I changed it to Spy X Family. Nice. Spy Family is adorable. Um, another one. This is the one that um my best friend actually got me back into anime with. Mm -hmm. It was. It's called. I think I've mentioned it before. A comic a kill. Yeah. I love a comic a kill. The anime though is not as good as the manga, but I love it. Well, we are of the same mind on that one, sir. Um, number uh. Oh wow! Okay, another one. Fairy tale, of course. I love fairy tale to death. Mm -hmm. Um, Eden Zero. That's actually by the same manga mangaka, the same writer. Eden Zero is actually a really good one. Its anime is currently ongoing, and I'm, and I'm loving it. And then, the number two and one, I don't think I can be. They can be replaced. Right. Number two for me is Fire Force. Um, it's got like one of the most lovable cast of characters, to be honest. Yeah. And then number one, Attack on Titan. Oh shit! Without a doubt. I love Attack on Titan. Oh, all right, all I right. love Attack on Titan. And then let's see. Chris Pratt. Oh my God. Really, this is a funny. Okay. 
This is a I got nine. question. I got nine. I need to come up with my tenth one. It says, Chris Pratt, who's your favorite porn star? I am not answering that. Oh, my God. Yes, that is forever <laughs> on the internet. You do not I answer that. I am not that. answering that. Nope. You do not answer that. Nope. <laughs> Hard pass. Hard pass. Uh, Dylan Bacon, favorite build in Elden Ring. A build that I actually did was I did a Radon cosplay. So I did full strength and magic and shit. I loved it. Nice. Okay. Shit, Let that's see. my tenth one. Because I actually want to answer this too. Pidgey, so far out of all the moments from the past year or period but you've been with us, what do you say has the, been the funniest moment you've been a part of? Ooh. Shanking Minxie and Among Us. Oh, God. <laughs> and getting away with it. And... I thought you were going to say when you chased me in Halo. Like, and then, that too. Like... That's a close second. Oh, the only reason yeah. why is because Blaster shanked me at the end. Yeah. Killed the moment for me. Vengeance. <laughs> yeah, that Am Among Us. That, that, yeah, that Among Us one was pretty juicy. I'll give you that. Uh huh. All right, Dark chat. Mage. The VA for Rock is the VA for Quattro and Gundam Wing. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. Well, I'm going to do my top 10 animes. And right, they're going to like, ahead. oh my God. I don't know the whole weeb thing. So whatever mm -hmm. labels are labels. I just like anime. Um, so the top 10 that I could pull out of my brain muscle that stand that like stand out the most for me is Trigun. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oh, I've heard about that one. Yeah. Trigun, Cowboy Bebop, Sailor okay. Moon, of course, but I grew up with Sailor Moon, uh, mm -hmm. Fruits Basket, Akami Got Kill. Sword Art Online, Gundam okay. Wing, Chobits, Attack on Titan, and specifically, um, I love Dragon Ball Z. So, there you go. Okay. There you go. I have way um, too many, way too many. Red Chaos, that's such a difficult question to answer. Top 10 favorite video games of all, top favorite video games of all time, that's such a hard question. That really is, especially if you so love gaming. there's so many of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's such a difficult question. And then, let's see. There is a third manga and anime I hear on Rave called Rave Master. Yes, there is. Yeah, I have not read it, though. Asking Shu, I can't go over all the ones that... Do you realize we would be here for six hours? Exactly. Six hours. Yes, uh, Natsu, I have I have the box set. I have the... I have Chobits in my... Actually, cabinet. actually, real quick. Real quick, um, real quick, say hi. Say hi. hi, I'm cooking dinner. Hi, it's, pa it's Papa Speck. <laughs> there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> Hello, Papa Speck. That's Helm House. <laughs> yes, sir. Cooking okay. dinner, what's he making? Hey, he's got to share know. with the chat. I think <laughs> he just left, so. Um, ooh, here we go, Vanguard. Uh, Minxie and Spectre, I love both you two, so great. Now I'm going to tr work hard to do better and stop being lazy here on YouTube and in RL. Aw, Vanguard, Aww. that is super sweet. Thank you. No, uh, I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, nearby chunk. I know what you're doing, homie. I know what you're doing. Hammy White or Jury? Jury. Personally, uh, Rogue Spartan says that makes me one. When you pick dialogue option in Mass Effect and it came out differently from what do you expect, does it make you jolt? Uh, yes. 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 Every, you know what? In the thing, <sighs> yes, we'll just say yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it would go on for hours. <laughs> oh, and also Vanguard said, uh, "You are not a chicken shit." Yes, I am, sir. I appreciate that. But I can when confirm. It, when it comes to scary shit, yes, yes, I am. Uh, mainly, not so much scary movies anymore. It's just, I think, it's just jump scares in video games mm -hmm. because. Like, even in first-person shooters, when I, I get very hyper-focused on games that I'm playing, so, like, little things scare the shit out of me. I can't tell you, I would have made you guys bust a nut laughing, because when I was in World of Warcraft, like, I was sitting there focused on a quest or something, and then something would come out of, like, into my vision, uh, I, like, just come at me, I would be like, ah, and I'd jump and scream. It, it's, it's hilarious. It's ridiculous. When I get hyper-focused yeah. on something, it's uh, it's a fun time. I make Nate laugh a lot. Yeah, and it's kind of the biggest reason why it, horror games drive me, like, or so you suck, suck me in in the first place, Yeah, is because of, okay, 
it would have I would have to go into depth with this one. If you want, I can explain like the reason why I love horror games the, the as much as I do. Mhm. If that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Alrighty. Um. So there. Here's my thing. I actually like horror games more than I do horror movies nowadays because horror movies nowadays, and I've seen this. It's like a dangerous trend. Right. And like there are some outliers, of course, like. The Nun was big with this. I think The Curse of La Llorona was worth. Um, the the biggest thing why horror movies tend to suck nowadays is because they base their entire they base their entire the majority of the scares primarily around a jump scare, without giving a shit about character, without giving a shit about plot. That's fair. That's the biggest reason. Is that That's basically fair. it revolves around this walk through hallway encounter strange sound rinse repeat yeah like horror movies don't usually like scare me i might I, like I, it's funny because my husband will do he jumps more than i do i i, mm -hmm. I guess it's just because i can see it coming it's just obvious to me right i think that's that's the the thing that doesn't I, i'm not immersed in most horror movies because i'm like oh well mm -hmm. that shit's gonna happen or well that's right. gonna come from the ceiling or, you know, they're going to, you know, be locked in the basement. I feel like it's very, you just, you can just guess what's going to happen yep. next most of the time. And uh, that that doesn't really engage me. Um, right. Although, I think one of my favorite ones of all time is Gothica. Ooh, so. okay. Yeah, and it's just, it's a, it's a dangerous trend that I've noticed when it comes to previous horror films. And mm -hmm. funny enough, one of my favorite film review channels, Chris Stuckman, um, yeah. he made a point during his Annabelle Comes Home video where his wife, during the movie, uh, whenever she could, hear, like, anticipate a jump scare, she kind of would, like, close her ears, like, intent, because she feels like there's a jump scare coming out. Yeah. And every time, she was right. Yeah. It was that predictable. It's that, you know, when it, when movies become predictable like that, they're just, it's not entertaining because the whole point uh, of any type of media is to immerse you into that media. And if you can't do that, it's, you fail, basically, in my opinion. Exactly. Yeah. And that's kind of why I like horror games as much as much more because not only are they more flexible with having the abilities to try and scare you. Yeah. But they also focus on the one thing the one thing that horror games or horror in general should do and this is something i always will say the biggest thing you got to be able to nail is the fear of the unknown yes the fear of the unknown is the most important thing you got to nail because fear is not what we make up with our eyes but with our ears so if you hear the biggest thing you want to do is you know something's out there, you can hear something out there, but you won't know for sure until you check it for yourself. That's what makes it so effective. I actually agree with you that there because that's another reason why I won't play Dead Space. So um, Dead Space scared the shit out of me. I wasn't mm -hmm. even playing Dead Space. The human in the room was playing Dead Space. And I heard some of the scariest shit I've ever mm. fucking heard. I don't know. I don't know where in the ship. I don't know where that sound is. I honestly don't ever want to hear that sound again. And I remember <laughs> it specifically came from Dead Space. And I was like, fuck this shit. I am out. Turned on my heels and walked out the fucking room. So right. um, sound in video games, specifically it's sound effects, important. it's so fucking important. So bloody important. That's why I always say, in general, music. That's why I made a point in Metal Health, in the Metal Health Center video. Uh huh. Music is really important in the game. Oh, it is. The musical score it's is extremely important. Um, Dylan, in Mass Effect, would you rather be a Paragon or Renegade? Paragon. I'm too nice. You're too nice. What? Mm -hmm. You Watch. are. You Delta's are. You are. Delta's gonna say that too. You are. <laughs> You are actually too nice. I agree Watch, with that. Watch, Delta is going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, Delta's got to be picking up the pace. He's been catching too many L's lately. He's been, oh, they're just, <laughs> Delta's just getting a lot of shit. Delta, there is a back and forth between, so Unforgiven and Alex, and then you got Delta and Frit, and it's just, it's the Salt Wars. It's what it is. Yep. Yeah, yeah what that's what is. we tried to do earlier. <laughs> it's Salt Wars. I mean, you know, you did tell me to retire. So, 
<laughs> Pidgey. Yeah. What the fuck, Pidgey? Why? Pidgey, why? Hey, yo, what the what? fuck? Let me read this. What? No need for trolling. No need for memes. I'm gonna be honest. I'm putting my foot down. Dang it. <laughs> okay, that's the one. Just wanted to say you two have been absolutely great. Here's hoping you both continue to grow from where you are. Back here, an awesome and genuine dude. Oh mm -hmm. man. You know, Damn. stop it with the feelings and the kindness <laughs> and the nice. Just stop it. Stop This it. was supposed to be a grilling Holy... trolling session. This I know. Was Everybody's to be a grilling session. being too fucking nice. <laughs> what the shit uh... is this? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, I saw another question earlier. Diablo, did you see the new Ev Evil Dead? No, I didn't. Not yet. Pidgey, thank you so... You guys with the donos tonight. I don't That's even crazy, know. That's crazy, man. Thank you so fucking much. I really... I... And, and that means a lot to me, okay? Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a level of hype and entertainment that comes across. And, and this is something that I will, I will agree with you on, Spectre, in regards to Alex. Um, mm -hmm. It's funny because me and Alex structure our streams... Um, we have the same mindset, obviously not the same because, you know, mm -hmm. I ain't going to be running around topless on the internet. That's just not happening. <laughs> but, um, we both think Asmongold is an amazing streamer. Um, me, me and, um, me and Alex have the same mindset of entertain your audience, get, get those belly laughs out. You know, you're, you're there to entertain and yep. I, it's funny that me and him have this same mindset because I was actually uh, watching. I was, well, I'm a fan of Asmongold anyway, but I was actually watching his streams before I started because I'm like, I, I want to have, like, I, the, what I want to do is I want to bring happiness to someone's day. Even if it's roasting a salty fanboy, even if it's just saying some weird, crazy thing during Redfall or Vampire Survivors or screaming when I beat a boss in Elden Ring. It's like those little things that are going to bring joy to people. Um, that that's what that's my ambition. So hopefully Absolutely. I achieve yeah. that on the internet until I retire, or Spec tells me to retire again. I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dylan asks, I, "Oh no, I got a tough question for you. Would you rather co-op a game with Harmon Smith?" Spec, are you gifting my... memberships on your own empty cup? What is going on? Huh? Thing? What? Oh, I don't know. What's Whatever. Going on. What? Huh? Ozzy, thank you so much for being in the chat, my dear. Uh, she's uh, a, I, I, she and I are good friends. Oh well, that's wonderful. We, lo we love. She's the support. like a sister. Yeah, we love the support on these streams. Hundred percent. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. Uh, let's see here. To answer the question, would you rather play a co-op game with Harmon Smith or Amazing Lucas? Oh, uh, neither. Uh, who the no. fuck would want to play with either one of those douches? <laughs> if I had to pick one, just one. Oh, God. Harmon Smith, I would tolerate more. That is fair, because what I would do is I would get an AI to read Harmon's book back to him. Like, I would huh? get Brian. Yes. No, I would be on the game, and then Brian would be reading Harmon's book back to him. Yeah, I'm an asshole. Yes. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, thoughts on DBZA? That's Dragon Ball, right? Yes. Um, I actually have been watching that. <clears throat> I, I actually started watching that. Good, because Slim's the gonna get your Dragon cheeks. Ball. Slim's gonna get your cheeks if you don't ever watch Dragon Ball. Uh, Pidgey, two questions. Do you love, do you love, would you recommend Helsing Ultimate Abridged and do bitches love cannons? Yes and yes. Yes, bitches love cannons. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 100% Pidgey, you are a giga chad. Can we get some Absolutely. gold stars in the chat for Pidgey? You all deserve some gold fucking stars tonight. 100%. God damn. You guys have been fantastic. And and this is great because you guys all turned out, and I was talking to Spec before the stream, and we had a bunch of streamers live at late night, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I don't know how this empty cup is going to do. And, and I really wanted it to do well for him uh, because I'm... And I, oh God, feelings. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this. I'm very proud of Spec. I really am. And to see Aww. him grow as a creator and learn editing and, and put these love letter videos together. And I've watched every one and I, and I will support, I will support this and I will support battle and I will support anybody who takes the time. I, you know, and here's the thing, chat, I, I make game assets. I don't want to edit videos, but I have been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it. I'm not very good at editing. I can just do basic clipping and things like that. 
um, which is why we have Mo. But um, I have been thinking about doing some more editing myself, but it, it's more of, you know, I, I've got Blender. I know, I know where my jam and my talent is in life, and, and that's, that's making video games. So mm -hmm. uh, making assets for video games. So that, that's another reason why I want more of those streams so we can just, you know, chill out, have fun, BS, right. troll each other, and, and just, you know, make assets. It's going to be fantastic. Fun fact, actually. I said that a lot. I say that a lot today. Um, one of my ambitions growing up, and I think it might, who knows? Who knows what could happen, right? Mm -hmm. um, one of my ambitions is I always wanted to be a game developer. I always wanted to learn how to do that. It's a process. I'm sure it is. Yeah, I have no doubt. It's a process. I even have, I have like one game idea in mind, mm -hmm. but it's currently like a work in progress. I'm like trying to figure out I, what I would want to do with it. This is why this is why I, I push Mad Mushroom. Like I'm super like I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of mm -hmm. content creators that love video games, that have played video games most of their existence, um, mm -hmm. having a publishing company. Um, so I, I'm very interested to see what is is published by Mad Mushroom, what indie devs are gonna be picked up and, and what mm -hmm. what games are gonna come out underneath them. I'm I'm super fucking excited about that. And I plan on whatever games you know, Mad Mushroom comes out with, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'll play when I, you know, if I've got the time to do so, I want to support that. Um, you know, I got my uh, own game assets that I need to do, but I really want to do that. Let me see. Um, oh, this is such a one-sided answer. Would you rather watch The Amazing Cuckus for one hour, nice, or Quantum for 24 hours? Cuckus. Oh my god, I would pick Amazing Lucas every single fucking yeah, time. Yeah, because at least I can laugh at how stupid he is. Yeah. I mean, no, that would be nauseating. No one wants to watch Quantity <laughs> Exactly, yeah. <laughs> no one. Absolutely not. And then, Vanguard, did you give the code red? I'm entitled. I want to know the truth. Oh, the code red on PlayStation Fanboys? Um, I mean, if you count blocks as code red, then maybe. <laughs> I still haven't got my Reforged Gaming block, so. Asking Shoe says, I thought about going to school for game development. Glad I didn't with how shitty a lot of the companies seem. Yeah, behind the scenes, exactly. Yeah, and that's exactly. kind of the crux of the issue. Developers go through all sorts of bullshit. And uh, again, that's why, you know, if you see me throwing around the Mad Mushroom swag, you know, mom's, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. promoting this because... Um, developers need good deals from publishers and um, they, they need to be able to actually develop the games and not be pushed out with these weird time constraints because it's all about money and it's all about greed. Um, you know, let, let good games be good games and they'll sell themselves. Uh, let's see. Dark Mage, can DSP cook? No. Absolutely. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dark um, Mage, is... what the hell? You know that's Ozzy. not true. Is it true you're a woman, Ozzy? I know what you're doing there. What? Are you? I know what you're doing. Do you there. identify as a sparkly <laughs> rainbow no. unicorn princess? No, no. So the joke is, so Ozzy and I, it was me, Ozzy, and Empress. I think um, we were on a stream together, and at one point, because I consider her, she's like a sister to me. Ozzy is. Um, I consider. I at one point I said as her internet older sister by accident and so now she came up with a joke that i was transitioning into a woman oh no you did that <laughs> you gotta yep. play into the meme that's exactly yep. it if you fumble <laughs> that's why that's why every time when you when you stumble on a live stream or or you fuck yeah. up a word or something you just you got to turn it into comedy it's part of being a live Otherwise, you know you live get stream. alex feet yeah you get alex feet <laughs> and bald and salt <laughs> poor alex i swear this chat is so mean they are they're absolutely <laughs> savage but they're they're so amazing they are true uh, to be fair i did roast him a couple times on live on stream oh my god i know klutzy one got them, him good too yeah one of them was it was a super chat i think it was two streams ago one of them was um because they were making jokes about he could do a camp cosplay which yeah. i really hope he does oh i tried hilarious. i tried i tried <laughs> um the joke i came up with was i would say a guile cosplay but that would require more hair 
Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Damn, Spec, well done. You just roasted yourself. Like, congratulations. Exactly. That's amazing. Yeah. Pidgey's got another no. question for you, my dude. Uh, if you were set in a post-apocalyptic setting, which enemy force would you face off against? The Biophage, the Necromorphs, or Cordyceps zombies? Cordyceps zombies, that's dying light, right? Pigeon? Oh, jeez. Is that dying light? Necromorphs. I, I, I think it is. Necromorphs is dead space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. If I had to pick one, though, um... Shit. Aren't Cordyceps zombies... Um, isn't that from The Last of Us? Yeah, oh, that's, that's the, the last, last of us. us. Yeah, the last of us. I was gonna say, okay. I just watched that. Did yeah, someone like say show. donuts? Billy Donuts, you are in the chat, and we yes, everybody nice. gets donuts. Every single yes. one of you. Yeah, that's the um, last of us. I would do the last of us, but the clickers are like the clicky ones are terrible. For me, it would have to be the biophage. Yeah, I would pick as the much clickers. as how as creepy as they are. <laughs> um, I th I think the the lad the core the core zombies. Um, because of the way The Last of Us explained this, and, and the fungus is actually real, um, that basically turns, like, husks of bugs into zombies, that shit mm -hmm. could actually happen. And I think that that is, the way that they wrote that was so well done. Um, so that, that's a little bit creepy to me. I think The Last of Us hits home where that could actually fucking happen, so good on them yeah. for doing it. Yeah. And to answer your question, Digital, it's Biophage are from, are from the Callisto Protocol. No oh, ho ho! Yeah, and then Pigeon, if you're transitioning into oh, a woman, shit. do you plan on getting a leg up on Keffles <gasps> by being an actual good and entertaining content creator? Pidgey wins. Oh my Pidgey god! <laughs> That's oh amazing. no! Alright, well, Pidgey <laughs> wins the super chat of the stream. That's gonna be a so thing far. too now, I so guess. So far. Oh shit! No, we do I have just feed say, beans. That was funny. <laughs> I'm sure we do. I'm we sure have we a do. couple. We have a couple. Oh lord. Okay. Um, not question. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. I'm guessing he meant by bad. But my last saying on the code red joke. You might have scroll. You might have to scroll up a bit. Hold on. Wait. Uh oh, code Dude. red joke. Oh, I missed the joke. A few good men meme. Oh, it's a good men. Me a few good men meme. Okay. I'm oh sure no, is, you but... didn't quiet try. Oh Jesus, I'm looking at the memes. Oh no. I'm looking at the oh, memes. No. I'm scared. You should be. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um see. So, we've got we pretty much got your plan. What are you planning on bringing out by the end of the year? I think you went into fall, but you didn't go into like Christmas time. I Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so November I'm thinking of doing one that actually Red Chaos suggested. Ooh, nice. Um, it's called Mirror's Edge. Have you heard of it? I've heard of it. I have not played Mirror's Edge though. Yeah, Mirror's Edge. It's a, I played a little bit of it. I might I might dip my toe on it. Who knows? We'll see. Is there um, like some then... sort of psychotic Christmas horror that you could bring out for Christmas time? I don't know. No, I wish. I don't think so. If you want I mean if you count Tattletale. Oh, that's fair. Which is, um, I think Horror and Hellfire, she came to that a while ago. So. Night um, asking shoe. But yeah, she, um, I, I think that game is the biggest reason why I hate have a disdain for Furbies. For Furbies? Furbies are demons. Furbies are demons. That They're is They're demons correct. in disguise. Tools of the devil must be cleansed of evil. I agree with you 110%. Furbies are the most terrible thing in existence. They're demons. They are demons. They're little furry, creepy fucking demons. That's exactly what and that's they are. what And that's what Tattletale is based off of. Oh, God. That is hell. Yep. That is literally <laughs> hell. <laughs> no more. And, to, and, and everybody will get me when I say this. No more, Mama. Mama oh, Mama hates you. That is terrible. That is actually terrible. <laughs> Shit, boo this man. Boo this man, that is so terrible. Oh, no. Ugh. No thank you. No shot. Speaking of, if mm. I were to ever... I don't, I, think, I, I don't think I've ever gotten... I don't think I've ever gotten this question yet, but um, if I were to ever branch out my content, it would have to be something along with the horror genre. Oh, 100%. 
I because love you, the horror genre. Yeah, because you love it so much, that just makes I sense. I love it to death. Yeah, I that just it. makes sense. So if you mostly if you were gonna mm-hmm. do like a separate channel or something, it would be horror inspired. Most likely. That's fair. Um because my love for horror dates back to when I was in high school. It yeah. was back in high school in which um one of the first content creators I watched during that mm-hmm. was um his name is Matthew Santoro. He's one of my favorites. He actually just recently got back to that kind of stuff, so I'm happy. Right. So, mm-hmm. Right. That's fantastic. And he, and he did a whole bunch of things. He did, like, creepypasta readings. He did, um, like, some of the most haunted places in the world, all that stuff, different types of ghosts. It's awesome. That is awesome. I love it. I like horror themed games. Yeah, I think I know everybody Same. wants me to freaking play horror games. You guys are evil. The closest you ever gotten to is Phasmo. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um actually no, I I don't know if you if you call if you Resident Evil 5, I did play a little bit of Resident Evil 5. Okay. Okay. So. I only have a small background on Resident Evil 5. Oh no, I mean Resident Evil in general. I played The first one I played was the the Resident Evil remake. On the right. GameCube. Right. Okay. And and then I then after that, I think it was Operation Raccoon City, which is supposed to be like a four player co op. Yeah. And then after that was six. And I didn't like six. Um. And then after that was. Um, I think it was seven. I think it was seven. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not, uh, it looks creepy as shit to me. It's terrible. I think, what um, was it, seven it, or eight was the worst, I can't remember. Uh, you said eight. Yeah. It was eight because yeah. of Lady Dimitrescu. Yes. Well, yeah, and it's the, I think it's because it's like a trailer parky and you're going around in the different buildings and shit. I'm like, no, 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 that's Maybe. scary. Uh, Digital Homic, would you cover the back rooms? Probably. Um, That'd be cool. Also, would you revisit some of the classics, like, say, Quake 4? Jarrett's asking that. Um, maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, I mean, there's so many different games you could cover, honestly. Um, nearby um says, "What will be your first love letter to a Nintendo game when you do cover those types of games?" It better if be I Pokemon. One, <laughs> well, mm, okay, hear me out. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna. Wait. I lost my interest in Pokemon years, like back since high school. Okay, the last fine. one I played was high school. Okay, which one was the last one you played in high school? Um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire on the 3DS. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, I liked that one. Um, and then afterwards, over time, I was just not interested anymore. All right, so not what... because it's bad, but because it just didn't grab me anymore. That's fair. All right, so what's what's the first love letter to a Nintendo game, then, sir? If I had to do one. Hmm. It would have to be probably The Legend of Zelda. Probably Fuck Breath yes! Of the Wild. Oh, it's gonna be Breath of the Wild? I don't even care. It's a fucking. You just said Zelda. You just <laughs> said Zelda. You win. You just said Zelda. <laughs> yeah, it just had to be because I'm nervous around how crazy Nintendo has been. Oh, yeah. Lately. Oh, 100%. Like, and it's something I'm. And it's something I mentioned to my best friend, too, is that, like, I want to, but I'm also not. I'm kind of nervous of kind of tiptoeing around um, Nintendo's guidelines. You know? Isn't it gross, though, for gamers that, uh, that love Nintendo games? Like, I don't want to stream any more Nintendo Directs. Like, I just don't. And I, mm-hmm. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm going to lose my entire platform because Nintendo is the mafia boss of the gaming world. I know I'm, I say it on repeat, but that's the reality of the situation. And they find loopholes, and then they like they basically try to ruin your life. So when it comes to Nintendo games and covering Nintendo games, that's that's at least live or or putting them online. That's really fucking hard for me. I would love to play uh, Nintendo games on stream. Do I feel comfortable doing it? No. Why? Because Nintendo. So right. It's just what it, it is. All, I mean, you were you did get away with it when you streamed the uh, Synthetic Man video. I did. 
I did. I didn't. I didn't have any problems with the synthetic man video, so that that does give me a little bit of hope, I guess. But oh, still. I had I had multiple problems with the video itself, but yeah. Oh yeah, she, well, it's fucking synthetic man. I mean, uh, God, Dylan. Damn, Dylan. Dylan. With the five gifted memberships, Trudeau, the Canadian bird, gets a membership. That's amazing. Hell yeah. Synthetic man is beyond a parody. Synthetic Absolutely. man is sad. <laughs> He is sad. I always, every time I watch his or I see his content, I'm always just sitting there like, "Do you like anything?" I don't think like, he likes games. All? I don't think he I likes don't think games. So either. I, it's funny that these 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 game reviewers, they don't. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them that you just sit there and you go, "They just don't like games. Why are they doing they this? Why are they doing exactly. this?" Yeah, um, it sucks. Which is why I love what you're doing because that uh -huh. whole mentality of I want some more positivity in the gaming space. You know, I'm dying. You, you specifically focused on your, your love letters, like your, your games that you really love and enjoy that you had fun playing. Yep. Um, that that's great. Um, and hopefully over time, as you edit more videos and you get better at, you know, balancing sound and, and getting, I'm very proud of the way, like the, your last one, I think, I don't think it was the, the newest one. I, it was close to a protocol. Yeah, the yeah. Callisto Protocol one, not the DLC one. That was amazing. And I, you. you know, I even turned to the Husbando and I said, this is, he's getting, you know, you can see it over time. Each video that you make gets better and better, right? Yep. And the creepy, I try my best too. And the creepy music in the beginning, I'm like, oh, fuck this shit, I'm out. Like, Oh, uh, that was because, um, which one, the intro or yeah, the, the when intro. I started talking? Oh, yeah, the, intro? the intro? Okay. That was more of an homage. It was more of an homage to the original Dead Space, good uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star trailer. That makes that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. That's creepy. <laughs> shit. You know what? Another my... one that like got me was Bioshock. Oh my god. Ooh, Bioshock. I haven't played that. You should play Bioshock. The little kid, the little girl, like kids are creepy as shit. When you have well, yeah. little children in horror films, oh my god, I'm running in the other direction. Scary as shit. Absolutely. No, thank you. I agree. Uh, Jake, Jarrett, uh, I swear Synthetic Man will always say gaming is dead and casuals ruin gaming is so stupid. It's not the fact that he always says that gaming is dead. Mm -hmm. He says that gaming is dead, but then will turn around and still talking about games. Yeah. That... If gaming is so dead to you, why do you keep talking about it? Exactly. Yeah, the little sisters, Billy. Like, no shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, then also, Jared said, plus, even with Closed Protocol, it's okay to like stuff. But at case in point, oh, that's that's spoilers Ooh. for the dlc that's spoilers for the dlc <laughs> well if you guys are not you don't care about spoilers then we're gonna do that but um yeah all right get what we're gonna do really quickly guys i think um oh i have another question actually before yeah, yeah sure Pidgey, go ahead Pidgey's throwing down some, oh, yeah. some trolling now um, here we go synth synthetic man is pathetic ultimately negative yes he is overly political yes oh, that's an understatement I, I can't stand politics. No, not poli- Keep your I politics out it. of my fucking video games, I please. stay away. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, we Todd Id Manlet. <laughs> <gasps> Worst yet, he's pro lolly. Oh, what? No. You, why did you have to tell me that? Really? Are you fuck Pidgey, you're lying to us. You, you better be bull- Anyway. Are you bullshitting uh, us? The day he makes an actual good video on his channel is the day he touches a woman. No attraction Holy sign can shit, save him. Pidgey. God damn! 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 <laughs> damn! Pidgey! Holy All shit! Right. All right, Gold Stars and you just had Spec read that out loud. That's you just amazing. had Spec read that out loud. But I, but I do hope you're bullshitting that you that he's pro lolly. Oh, please have that not be okay. Please, please. Wait, digital homic? Did I, did I get ignored? I don't think I did. No, I, I answered your question. If you wanted me to cover the back rooms, I would. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I I don't think I Unless you did another it. one and we missed it in the chat, which if we did I apologize. Probably, yeah. I apologize. I'm not bullshitting, Pidgey. Oh, Why did you have my... to ruin my soul? Like my soul is crying inside my husk of a body right now because uh... you just had 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 Spectre read that out. Like, oh my god. Uh... Well at least now I know. Uh you know, no, they're, I know they're... I, and I have another reason to hate him. I mean, 
<sighs> I dislike things so hard. Right. All right. You you always say that you hate things. You don't hate because it's too strong. I don't. I actually don't. Um, and I can right. say that. I can say that wholeheartedly. There, um, I I just don't because I refuse mm -hmm. to have someone have that much control over me, uh, in life. So sure, you know, I'll get frustrated about stiff stuff and and I'll get angry about stuff, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't hate anybody on this planet. I dislike them. I don't like what they mm -hmm. do. Um, but no, you don't, you don't get that level of control over me. No, thank you. Makes sense. Um, uh, because that, in the reality the situation is, um, nobody gives a shit about your hate, right? And that's the reality. Mm -hmm. you, you are expending the energy that does more harm to you than the person that you actually hate. And that's, that's the right. reality of the situation. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> you can hate them mm -hmm. into oblivion. They give zero fucks. So that's doing more damage to you than it is them. Yep. All right. All right, let's do chat. Are we going to watch the Callisto Protocol Specs newest video? Specs newest video. Are we going to watch that? Put a one in the if chat. You, if if you have any other questions too, let me know as well. Yes. Yes, we'll go there. Actually, I want to do I was one say, did more. Did you question. have one more? Yeah. I, I do. Say. Um okay. what is the what is what is the game that who 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 is your major gaming influence in your household? My dad. Your dad. All right. So saying that, my my dad is also. So what what game, what game did, did your dad play that influenced you the most? Okay. There was two actually. Um because my dad and I we would always play certain games that were called together all the uh -huh. time. And so the main two that stick to my mind was when we would do Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original, and it was instant action, mm -hmm. and we would always do the Clone Wars map, because we love the Clone Wars. Nice. And then the second one was Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 is a good game. Yeah, yeah, and I was probably too young to play that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shh, shh, amazing <laughs> shh, parenting, shh, shh. shh. <laughs> But um, yeah, those two come to mind for me. All right. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link this video in the chat. Mine was okay. um, as a little tiny minxy tater tot. Mm -hmm. um, one of my favorite memories. I have two favorite memories. Is my my father loved Tetris. Mm -hmm. Still loves Tetris to this day. And seeing my father play Castlevania on the NES oh, for dude. as as a kid. As a, as a little baby, seeing my dad throw down some Castlevania, fuck yes. That is one Dude. of the most amazing memories I have. Castlevania is one of my favorite franchises. I love Castlevania. I, I do. I, I really do I like remembered, I remembered playing a shit ton of the original one mm -hmm. in Super Castlevania 4 back when, um, back when emulator websites were a thing. Yeah. Yeah, I would play Ghosts and Goblins... Castlevania and Pokemon Red. Nice. Yeah, back when emulator websites were a thing. Yeah, I love me some Castlevania. I, I, yep. I we need a, we need a, you know, I'm not about like five million games in one series, shifty mm -hmm. eyes, winky face, but uh, I wouldn't mind a, a Castlevania to come out. I can't wait. Soon. I can't wait for the next series that's coming up. Nocturne, I think is. Yeah. 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 Same. All right, well, I'm going to share... Let me share my screen with you. Yeah, go ahead. Hopefully go ahead. I get the right one. Right. All right, let me know if you right, can I hear this. I see it. Let me know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, cool. All right, chat. This is... We're going to do this. We're going to give Specs some few time. Thank you so much mm. for being on, my dude. And thank you for being on so late. I know that we were supposed to do this a lot earlier in the day, mm -hmm. and I was completely trolled by the weather. So I really appreciate everybody coming out and supporting Spec and uh, the trolling and the lulls and everything. This is fantastic. Yeah, I was more than okay with being on here. I'm fle I'm a I try to be as flex possible. Yeah. As, as possible anyway. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful I'm on I was on. At first, I was admittedly nervous because i knew what i was uh because i knew what i was going to go into uh -huh. but um why were you nervous while, you've been on my channel before i know but okay I, because i knew what was gonna happen. i knew that the memeing and the trolling was all 
I was kind of nervous that, I don't know. What? I get nervous in general because I don't, it's tough because I don't, this translates to whenever I'm on streams with other people, I always tend to like, I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily kill the mood, but more sense, I don't know. So Bring you're just down a bit. No, you're just getting nervous to get nervous. No, then. I think so. I think Probably. so. I think you just need to. Thank you so much. I think I just over nervous myself. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think you just need to chillax because the, when I was watching you play Redfall with Klutzy and Gara, uh, mm -hmm. well, there was a lot of rage and a lot of salt that was going on on that stream, rightly so. Yeah. But right. um, no, just be yourself. That's all you got to do. Absolutely. That's mm -hmm. all you got to do is just be yourself. Nothing to be nervous about. Nothing to be nervous I about. I agree. Yeah. All right, we're going to get this started. Oh, right, I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go. Rejoice. And rejoice in your life has led you here. To this moment. To this place. Jacob. There might be a way out after all. God, I hated the sending. I'm going to need your help. The Callisto Protocol got a mixed response when it initially came out. However, it didn't stop them from bringing in new content for players as much as they could. Mostly free content, which took me by surprise. Also, I want to, I'm, I'm going to interrupt to pay you a compliment. Mm -hmm. Your humor is growing over time. And I've noticed this in your videos. And it's, it's actually, mm -hmm. it's wonderful to watch because you're getting, you're getting more comfortable so to speak, the more videos that you do. So you're mm -hmm. getting like in your script writing and, and like you can, you'll end up being able to do like more off the cuff stuff. And the humor mm -hmm. is great. You're like, you're doing very well. So keep going at it. Oh, thank you. Whether it was new modes, new game plus and new skins, some not as well received as others. But now six months later, we finally have our first and possibly only story DLC for the game, the final transmission. And it just so happens to be announced days before I posted my initial video on the Callisto Protocol. So now I am back once again to. Bring I remember to you that. I remember, like, like my uh, video just dropped in the freaking DLC. The, yeah, the DLC. <laughs> okay, yeah. So DLC was because I was in the middle of writing, and then I checked Twitter and I see that Striking Distance Studios announced. Uh -huh announced it i was like shit because yeah. now i had to work that into the script and so then i had to do a follow-up i was like God damn it. yeah like you had to you had to put this out pretty quick pretty quick yes okay i originally wanted to come back to talk about the dlc as a quick follow-up type series so in such convenient timing i am back to do so before it initially came out however I went to see what the initial response was to the DLC from those who played it early. Sure enough, it's about as mixed as the base game. Some of you have gone on record to say that it feels completely pointless. With this in mind, much like the base game, I went into this DLC with more of an open mind. After playing the full two hour experience and being able to as much as I possibly can, it's safe to say I'm satisfied but also conflicted. On one hand, the things I wanted out of it, I got. It does everything right that the base game does and then some. However, everything it does wrong is also present in a sense. Like most of my criticisms were answered, but also not answered. It's honestly hard to explain without going into the full details. So here is a full disclosure that this entire video will be containing spoilers for this DLC as I will also be talking about the story. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I'd recommend going to my original love letter to Callisto Protocol for the full context, as I do talk about the story in detail there as well. Link will be in the description below. Otherwise, expect spoilers throughout this entire video. With all that being said, however, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Without further ado, this is my postscript for the Callisto Protocol final transmission. It begins right where that atrocious ending leaves off, with you waking up to the sound of Caitlin Mahler helping you return back to learn where, as mentioned before, 
she found a way for him to escape. She explains how there is an escape ship at the hangar bay, but along the way there's data drives that need to be collected scattered around what's left of this prison that contains the rest of the evidence of Cole's intentions. You only gave Danny a piece of the puzzle, being the original attack on the Europa, but collect the rest of the drives and you can expose Cole once and for all. One last job. That's all it is. So your main mission is to collect the rest of the data and escape this collapsing prison. As you continue to push through the prison, however, we see that more and more of Jacob's mental state gets worse and worse. His hallucinations fundamentally change how the game plays in sometimes, not by a large margin, but it's really great to see them focus on the psychological aspects of the character that was touched on just a bit in the base game. Speaking of, let's take a bit of a detour and talk about the gameplay of the final transmission, as they add new stuff to the overall gameplay loop and they just somehow manage to work for both the better and also for the worse. Level design, as usual, is absolutely superb. The interconnectivity of it all is incredible, and the new added buzz saws on the walls scattered around the prison can be used against the biophage, which is really fun to do. There's even some- Oh, I, you know another spec I cannot stand when you have the creepy shit that's crawling across the floor at you? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, they not do that have a lot that? when you- can we yeah, not have we that? Dismember them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Fair no. enough. No. Thankfully, when you. The reason why I did that was because in the game, if you dismember them and they start towards you, mm -hmm. if you if you get up close and hit them once, they're dead. Oh my god. Yeah, That's they're insane. Yeah, so you're fine. <laughs> Some fun little traps inside the vents as well as you crawl into them. They even added a new little puzzle that you do over the course of the DLC. Now, I'll be real at first. I initially thought that these were some of the worst puzzles I've ever played, and they just overall frustrated me to no end. Pause here real quick. However, I hated these puzzles at first. At first, I thought they were really bad, and they just annoyed the shit out of me. Right. But over time, because mostly I don't like puzzles in general. Mm -hmm. Mostly because either they're too easy or too complicated. But I explained more exactly why over time they actually kind of got better. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. The yeah. more I continued to do these puzzles, the better it gets. And the more I realized I was playing it completely wrong. Some of the parts of the lock will move on their own, so they will require precise timing so that way you can do them correctly in a rapid pace. Once you figure that out, I seemed to enjoy them more and more over time the more I did it. Overall, level design is still absolutely top notch and that's something I will always give credit to when it comes to the overall game. Next we have the new enemy type, the Biobot. Let me start off by saying the designs for these guys are fantastic. Their movements are very animalistic and they are uber aggressive and also have an electric shockwave attack that'll push you back off of them as well as they charge towards you if you're too far away. They're a fun encounter more often than not. Next, we have the new weapon, the Kinetic Hammer. It follows the same gameplay formula as much as the stun baton or the pickaxe that you get throughout the game, but it's a really powerful and really good weapon when going up against the biobots. It even has a unique ability to create a powerful AoE that wipes out hordes of biophage. Honestly though, if they add this to the riot mode, that would be fucking awesome. It's a fun addition and an overall good weapon. Unfortunately though, this is where the majority of my praises for the gameplay starts to fade. As while everything I love about the gameplay, everything I dislike also is there in some way shape or form. Lack of melee weapon variety is still incredibly present here. The majority of the game is still using the stun baton until you are able to- Oh, you're alright, Jay. Thank you so much. It's okay. Yeah, no, you're fine. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for the dono. I appreciate you. Right. Uh, Jay d did it. For some reason, it's not showing up on my Streamlabs. I obviously have to go through- I don't know. I think it's an update that they did. 
I need to rework my entire stream labs and, and his dono didn't show up. But thank you for the 6069, yeah. which you are trolling me with just like Dylan <laughs> is. I appreciate you, Jay. Thank you so much. To That's get funny. the kinetic hammer. But before you even get the kinetic hammer, your stun baton gets broken, so you only use the kinetic hammer. What? What the fuck? Like, for fuck's sake, just let me use both. I know I'm harping on this, but newer weapons on top of the ones that we already have. I like both. I agree with this take. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly because I was so annoyed because when I got the hammer, it was after the baton broke. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting there like, why? Why would you do that? Oh, no. I was so, because now you're just stuck to using only one weapon. Yeah, no, Again. no. I, yeah, use all the things. I'm I'm very weapon right. happy when it comes to the game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thankfully, you kept all your guns, so you're fine. That's good. That's good. <laughs> what you kill yeah. him? But then again, given how powerful this hammer actually is against smaller biophage. Actually, I'm going to ask you a question that I didn't ask. Where did okay. the inspiration for your character come from? Um, I, that's actually a good question. Um, a lot of it is because I'm a huge fan of Thunder Gods, and I'm a huge fan of... Oh, you of, love Thor, you love Thor, then. I love Thor, I love mm -hmm. Thor, I love... Zeus technically counts, right? Yeah, Zeus. I love those kind yep. of characters. I love all those kind of characters. Yep. That's... That, and the Red Lightning comes from another one of my favorite fairies fairy tale characters lots of that's amazing um, at one at one point in the story he gets like a dark red lightning yeah and i fell in love with it ever since that's actually oh, really that, good that and the elden ring lightning oh the elden ring lightning's amazing yes yes Ugh. that's beautiful that's great well that you know mm -hmm. what that's some really good inspiration for your for your character 100 percent Yeah, I'll just stick with the hammer. Another thing I come to notice is that enemy encounters on certain occasions are somehow worse than they normally are. For whatever reason, certain enemy encounters have this weird tendency to throw everything at you without any ounce of time to take a breath. Probably the worst offender of this is that you walk into a room filled with corruptors and on the hardest difficulty, corruptors can kill you in one or two hits. I tried doing this in several different ways, but it just doesn't really matter. You die, die, die. I know some of these sections are few and far between, but in a two hour DLC, they the become part. extremely noticeable and worthy of- I died in that section, like, say, almost ten times. Really? Yes, it was that bullshit. Oh no. Yeah, mostly because the Corruptors can climb pretty much everywhere. So you'll never know when they're coming until it's late. Oh, that's that's creepy as shit. No, thank you. Yeah. No. <laughs> is it me or does Spectre's voice in the video sound calming? Yes, actually. It is. Yeah, I that's agree because with you, I was actually kind of recording around 3 a.m. when <laughs> I did this. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so... I, I, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, it still sounded better than I expected. No, this sounds fantastic. Good job for doing this at three in the frickin' morning, my dude. Right. What the hell? <laughs> but anyways, as that's the majority of my gameplay impressions as a whole, it's time to get back into the story. As you go further and further down the prison and into the factory and collect all the rest of the data drives, you meet Kalen Mahler, weirdly, in the factory. And, um... Here. The ship's broke. We just have to reach the loading bay. Watch out! Oh my god! Yeah, she's gone. But this also perplexes Jacob as he wonders why she isn't on the ship. After you go down further and further, you start seeing writing on the walls and the voices in your head start to get worse. Then, as you reach the loading bay? Question mark? You walk into a room where he comes across Caitlin Mahler and
Well, shit. We then face off against an actually pretty fun boss fight. The design looks similar to the two-headed brutes, but the gameplay changes are super noticeable, where she can teleport and she can even split up her body to shoot molten projectiles out of her chest. It's honestly a pretty good boss fight. Better than the boss fight with Ferris, in my opinion. You finally take out Mahler and she goes down in a fiery grave. But wait a minute. Mahler is still trying to contact you and tells you to hurry. This is where it gets confusing. Then wait. You then walk into what looks like your ship? Jacob looks audibly confused, but then... He looks like he's... I don't know what's going on there. Like, um, uh, so... Looks like he's trying to take a shit, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to be rude, but what is going right. on there? Basically, in at this point, he's it's making it look like he's flying a ship. Right. But... You keep you keep it going. It's it, it all makes sense. Kinda. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> we get this cutscene to end it off of. Final report, Dr. Caitlin Marlow. I found him in the Warden's Tower and dragged him here. It's linked to Danny's core still active. I use this connection to upload the full details of the experiment. Whether it will be received, I can't say. But it was our only hope to get the truth out there, to turn his sacrifice into opportunity. Data transfer complete. did it. And now, your fight is done. That's right. Jacob was dead this whole time. All the hallucinations, all the visions, it was all in your head. And with the data transfer finally complete, Danny now has all the evidence she needs. Wait, what? He's dead? Yeah, yeah, he was dead this entire time. They did. All the data drives was Caitlin Mahler picking at your brain to get the rest of the data and send it to Danny. Uh. Yeah, polarizing. <laughs> I mean, I very... didn't. Uh, what is that? I don't know if I like that. Uh, oh. it's, I, I, I'm very mixed on it, which I explain later in this. Yeah, so. I just, I don't know about that. It's to stop Cole. So, this is the part where I was the most conflicted, because, on one hand, I am satisfied with this ending. It felt like actual closure for Jacob as a character, which was all I ever wanted out of it. Plus, it all adds up. The visions, the trauma the data drives. It was all to get that last bit of data that Mahler needed to finally put a stop to Cole. She picked at your brain and when the job was done, she and Jacob died along with the prison. One last job. However, at the same time, this honestly didn't need to be DLC at all. This honestly could have been worked into the base game and we would have gotten a pretty divisive but decent ending. A part of me feels like they gated this off as DLC due to public reception about the game when it initially released, and it clearly shows, which is honestly upsetting. But for what it's worth, I'm satisfied. What I wanted out of it, I got, and that's good enough for me. But I can't help but feel that the game would have benefited more having this ending in the base game. In fact, in my opinion, the best ending should have been this. After you launch Danny and help her escape, as the credits roll, you fight off against swarms and swarms of biophage as much as you possibly can with what you are given. And when you finally get close to death, you then get the final cutscene where Jacob dies as the prison goes with him. Much like, say, the Lone Wolf mission in Halo Reach. 
his sacrifice would matter all the same. All in all though, the ending I say works for what it's trying to accomplish and it brings the conclusion that Jacob's character needed. However, a part of me definitely feels wanting more. And honestly, that's my opinion on this DLC as a whole. I'm satisfied, but left with wanting more. This feels like it was cut out from the base game last minute, and it clearly shows. Most of the stuff in this DLC definitely could have been worked into the actual game, and it would have gotten a much better reception that way. Some people have even gone on record to say that it feels like abandoning an IP, and honestly, I can't blame them. Do I think the ending is just striking distance abandoning the IP? No. No, I don't. But I'm still optimistic in some way. And from what it looks like, so is striking distance. Furthermore, shown in the most recent AMA on Reddit they did. While sales wasn't great... So, can I offer you a little bit of uh, just advice? I don't know what this is. But sure, advice. go ahead. Um, I love Kat's take on your character. And you should mm -hmm. definitely, like, just for, like, you know editing purposes like you know like shock uh, kind of kind of like what hellfire does with her her pngs mm -hmm. that would be amazing to have oh, like yeah, the different like you right. have cat do like a full sheet of of your character with all I've the expressions that, it, yeah. that would be absolutely amazing to edit those I into agree. your videos i absolutely agree i i definitely have been thinking about getting more stills yes down the line. yes i think and i you know i just for some reason i love cat's rendition of your character i think she did a very good job and i think yeah uh, you know i'm not trying to like totally shove more business on her ship the right, ice no. face but uh you know i think i think that would be really awesome to invest yeah in. no cat did a fantastic job with my rendition of yes the character yes and so did um the other person that which you'll see at the end of this video mm -hmm. um is the one that empress yeah I love what Empress did with it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Glenn has yeah. gone on record to say that he was happy with what was put out and how he was able to create his vision. And they even did seem to hint at that a potential sequel with Danny could still definitely happen. Which gives me a lot of hope. They definitely look like they want to continue this IP further in some way, which is great. But that's all up in the air for now. Whatever happens with the IP from here on out is up to Glenn Schofield, and where he wants to continue Callisto Protocol in the future. If they choose not to, I'll be fine with it. It will suck, but I'll be fine with how it ends here. Whether or not they choose to, though, only time will tell. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my postscript for the Callisto Protocol Final Transmission. Thank you all so very much for watching. I know it's a bit different than what I normally do, but I definitely want to keep making content like this in the near future, as it's honestly always nice to go back to games that I love. I mean, I already know I'm going to be back when the Elden Ring DLC comes out. So if you guys like to see more of this, leave a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe for more stuff like this. I had fun talking about this game, and I can't wait for what else I have planned for you all. But all while that's going on, I want to send you guys over to Khuk. I recently was on a live stream with her where she got to interview yours truly. Go oh, shout out. Support. Yep. All right. I had That's to. all for now. That's nice. Thank you so much. That's really I'll nice see you next you. time. We will see you next time, but you're here on this live stream. Ha oh, oh, ha oh, ha. I win. I win. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when you get when you get internet famous, just know that mom had you on the channel first. And I'll be like, ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha. I got all the old if it, clips. <laughs> if it does, if it does happen, yeah, that would be awesome. I don't plan on making it like a big, huge thing, but I do want to make it just treat it as more of a hobby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you're, you know, overall, you're just going to grow as a as content mm -hmm. creator, just as you're editing and you get witty, you know, more wit and jokes and, right. and just, you know, all of the awesome that you're going to pour into your videos. You'll grow naturally, and that is, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. That's wonderful. So I I'm glad so. that I get to be around for that ride, however long, you know, I'm, I'm here uh, just to see you grow as in, as an editor. I think that's that's amazing, especially because yeah. they're for your favorite games that you love. Yeah, it's, it also kind of helps that I've had you guys to Aww. help me out with that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because a uh, fun fact, um, the Elden Ring video was mm -hmm. actually was actually 
supposed to be out like months before it actually did come out. So I should I was supposed to start way sooner. That's fair. However, but um over time cuz I work full time and yeah. then I also um with how crazy my family can be, it kind of got difficult to maintain over But yeah. then after a while I kind of just I was like, you know what? Enough of if I don't dip my toe into it, then it's never going to happen. Right. He pro- oh, your best friend, like, he procrastinated. Well, you know, that's fair. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, and there's always, like, a level of nervousness, procrastination. Like, do, do I want to do this? Is, you know, all mm-hmm. of those things. Like, um, it happens uh, even, um, let's say, before I even get on a live stream. Right? Mm-hmm. So you're going to, the more like, the more you do the more comfortable you are going to be. And, and now that you've gotten the reception that you've gotten and, and it mm-hmm. looks like, you know, you're doing well and you're for a small channel, you're getting, you're getting views and yeah. you're, you know, you're starting to get subscribers and stuff like this. It's just a matter of time. My dude, it's a matter of time. Right. Yep. I hope so. Yeah. And the more that consistency. Would be, that would be really cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, another thing you could do and you can do mm-hmm. this from your phone and I'm going to say this to the chat. Take, um, make YouTube shorts off your videos, right? So clip, oh. clip the 15 seconds of you, like something witty that you've said in the video, clip it, make it into a YouTube short. Because the thing is, the YouTube shorts are on a completely different algorithm to videos mm-hmm. and live streams. So it puts your content out to a different, essentially a different audience, and I'm doing quotations, um, okay. which will also bring in more views and potentially more subs as well, so... Just right. food for thought. I get it. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. Is there any more questions in the chat? Does anybody yeah, have anything? Last, last yeah, call. last call. Last call. <laughs> <laughs> it's bedtime. I think I saw one earlier. <laughs> I think I saw one earlier in battle, and it was. Why are you here? Oh, God. Damn it. Battle. <laughs> battle. All right. We're going to do it. We're gonna do the memes now. We're going to oh, do the yes. memes. Let me go ahead. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm going to put them up on the screen for everybody. Oh, you are? Okay. And you, sir, go into the memes section. And there's four of them. We we showed Rambo's foot one on the screen. Mm-hmm. Actually, my best friend sent me one. Let me grab it. Oh, yeah. Throw that in the memes section. So we have... He's oh a big God. city kid in a small... T- it's fucking footloose. Quiet, try. You know what you did. <laughs> I hate, I hate that they used my PNG. Instead. I hate how they used my face instead of the PNG. Uh. Hey, get used to it. Get used to it. Yeah. I would rather have them use my PNG than my actual face. And my ass is getting trolled left, right, and center. That is true. No more yeah. web. You guys are completely denied webcam forever. You're grounded. All right. Oh okay. dear, I do miss you, Alex. Most oh Jesus Christ, this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that Pidgey? I hope let me see. Is it's, that, yeah, it's, it's, it's Pidgey. P- yeah, it's Pidgey. That's <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh Jesus, this is oh, great. No. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh come on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at oh, Dr. T- Seuss book. Oh, this T- is great. Uh, he asked, uh, why are you art whore? What? I'm confused. Why are you an art whore? I oh, have no idea. I have no idea. I'm oh. confused. This is I don't even know what this is. What is this? I, th- I, I hate <laughs> this. So what is much. this? I hate this. Pidgey, what is this? <laughs> oh my, they're so nice because there could be 60, you know how many memes I've had on a, it's like 60 memes. They're actually way nicer to you than I thought they oh, would be. Oh lord. I, I, I'm surprised, yeah. And then this one's, uh. Preparing oh. to make the funniest meme of the stream. Oh Jesus. Minxie teasing spec. Presidential questions. <laughs> Boogie and Jerry Fruit <laughs> jokes. Minxie one empty. <laughs> this is great. This That's is actually funny. great. Your friend is amazing. Yeah, he's awesome. 
That is fantastic. Um, it's, man. All right, now you got to pick one, Spec. You got to mm. pick one. Okay. We're going to put the Oblivion music on for the chat. The Footloose one is terrible. <laughs> the the Footloose one? Oh, my God. <laughs> Quiet, try, you ass. I'm going to have you on stream again soon, Quiet, try. Let's see. <laughs> and then, I you, like the Dr. Seuss one. The, the Dr. The Seuss, Dr. One, Seuss one is really fucking good, dude. The Dr. Seuss one kills me. The Dr. Kills Seuss me. one is really good. Oh, okay, I get what he asked now. Uh, he, she's asking, why are you an art whore for cat? She's awesome, that's why. Oh, she is awesome. T, she's amazing. you're amazing. There's a lot of fantastic artists, like there Autendo, is. Cat, T, um, fuck, Squatchin. who else? Squatchin, um... Empress, Empress K is one I can definitely I, say. My own sister. Like there's there's so there's so there's yeah. so fucking many. Alright, yeah. do you pick the foot do you pick the Dr. Seuss foot one? Is that the one that you yes. settled one on? Yes, the Dr. Right. Seuss one. I don't know. we might have to clip this for Crazy J. But Crazy J, you just won. Is Crazy J Oh chat. It is Crazy J. We, we have, have a new meme we lord. Have, we have a new meme lord. We have a new we have a brand new Meme of the stream winner. Holy mm -hmm. shit. Oh my god, he doesn't even know. I'm gonna have to announce it in the disc of the chords for the members. Alright. Yeah. Meme Lord. Let's give him Meme Lord and let's give him Meme of the Stream. Holy shit. It's been a hot minute since we've had a new one. That is fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations, crazy. crazy J. We'll have to clip this and send it to him. Oh, B Psalms just super chatted again. Uh -oh. Last minute question: Which president would survive a zombie outbreak? None of them. Uh, none of them. Not well, actually, probably all of them. It's all of us. That they they've got a secret tunnel and a ship somewhere, and all of probably. the rest of us peons are gonna have to deal with the apocalypse and all of the yeah. <laughs> and also, let me let me go ahead and just go off and say that you guys all did great just the crazy crazy jays killed me yeah this one's good <laughs> this is specter's wacky book of ass whoopings <laughs> and then my foot in your ass i know oh congratulations so oh. much i would play the congrat like i i will do that but yeah go ahead thank you thank you so much for being on spec this was this was fantastic holy shit I guys had a fantastic time the support on this stream was amazing um we have so many new tea bags. Thank you so much. Thank you for being just so awesome and and trolling spec in in a almost mm -hmm. appropriate way. There was some porn things yeah, there in there. Yeah, there were some interesting there, questions. Yeah, yeah, there was there was some stuff. There was some interesting questions in there. Um, yep. I think having the guest on Empty Cup reading out the super chats is fantastic. Funny as hell. It's funny as hell. You did a wonderful job, spec. Thank you. All right. Chat, say goodnight to Spec. Spec, say goodnight to chat, and I'm going to wrap up the stream. All, all right. Y'all have a good one. You too, my dude. Thank you again. I'll have you yeah, on absolutely. stream soon. Anyway, well, you're going to troll me. To. You're going to troll me anyway. So it's I would love, if, hey, if you ever need me, one of the, uh, let me know. Okay. I would love to do that. All right. Well, we'll definitely right, have you care. on good soon. Have a good night, absolutely. dude. Absolutely. Later. Bye-bye. All right, my lovelies. All right, my lovelies. Let's do the because we have a brand new meme of the stream winner. We're gonna play the congratulations song. If you have a tea bag on the channel, if you are of the tea bags, if you are part of the green tea team, shit, I need to come up with something better. Oh wait, we're we're tiny leprechaun Vikings. If you're part of the tiny leprechaun Vikings, the green team, right there, the little tea bags. You spam those emotes. Spam them. Congratulations. 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 Try to relax your anus. Congratulations. 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 I'm never blowing bubbles ever again. Congratulations. 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 You take the bubbles and shut them up your fucking ass. How about that?
Also, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you like, comment, do all the things on the stream. I'm going to link um, all of Specs things, uh, his channel, and everything in the description below. Thank you so much again, Spec, for coming on. I appreciate you. Uh, this was an amazing stream. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. I don't know who I'm going to have on next. I think that Autendo is going to be the next one that I'm bullied to have on. Uh, so we'll throw around suggestions in the Discord. And then I will get bullied again. And it'll be fantastic because you guys won't let me not do the empty cup. <laughs> Everybody thought after God Howard that the empty cup was going to be finished. And now I'm getting bullied into keeping it going. Yeah, we're going to definitely do another poll. We'll throw some suggestions around in, in, in the server and we'll get another poll up on the YouTube channel. Yes, we're doing another poll. All right, my lovelies. Have a fantastic fucking rest of your night. Uh, I'm going to go do some nerdy shit and then pass the fuck out. I will be live tomorrow. I will see you. Uh, we still have the, we have, uh, the salt mines video to do. We still have uh, the Act Man's Diablo 4 video to do. So we got a lot. We got a lot. Um, and uh, I need to talk to you guys tomorrow about a future stream that I said I was going to do, and I may or may not do that. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, good night. Thank you again. Oh, my God. You guys are too kind and nice, and I love all your faces. Have a beautiful rest of your night. Bye. <laughs> I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It's Dark Side Phil. I need that money. To pay my bills. The electric bill. The internet bill. Stupid fucking trolls, man. I just want to chill. chill. I rock back and forth on the X and Y axis. Tip me. So I could catch up on back taxes. Making more stacks. Refunding chargebacks. Had my lap. Sounds like act, act, act. 50 bitch here. 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. 50 bitch here. 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch. Raise your hands in the air. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. That money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. I want to have chill stream. No detractor memes. Bathroom breaks. Playing WWE. Relaxing chill session. Street Fighter 3. It's like, okay, my vibe back from 2017. 50 bitch here. 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch, raise your hands in the air. 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there. 50 bit bitch, raise your hands in the air. I need that money, I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money, I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. I'm the one who operated a successful YouTube channel. I'm the one who just filed for bankruptcy. I'm the one who didn't pay my taxes. I'm the one. Me. Me. I'm the one who masturbated in front of children. I'm the one who got fourth place at Evo. I'm the one with a ten-year legacy. I'm the one. Me. Me. Fifty bitch here. Fifty bitch there. Fifty bit bitch. Raise your hands. In 50 bitch here, 50 bitch there, 50 bit bitch, raise your hands in the air. I need those, that money, I really do, I need that money. To pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill, the condo fees, my mortgage, my taxes, my back taxes, my current taxes, my state taxes, my federal taxes, my tax attorney, my tax guy, my tax accountant, my bankruptcy lawyer, all of my credit cards, my new setup, the new laptop.